want a war? You're gonna get one. Yeah, no time for one more play. Had an opportunity to win that game every game. But the Ruffles screwed us. The brother screwed us. I'm upset, but the brother screwed us. At least they fought back and tried. Only Cowboys game. Yeah, you, 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 you literally the screwed, screwed us. us. The brother screwed us. Yeah, we had one more opportunity for one more play. Dallas still stinks. Way kick dig back here and welcome, welcome to day three of Howie Roseman season. Let's just face it, that's what it is. What is going on, everybody? Uh, sorry, I'm a little late. Um, they had that Jake Elliott news just came out as I was getting ready to go live, so I was trying to get uh the information transferred to StreamYard, but it was giving me all sorts of problems. But what I did get is this Jake Elliott extended, uh, the Eagles extend Jake Elliott. And uh, another great move. Um, what can you say? The, the Eagles reached terms with kicker Jake Elliott on a four-year extension. He's now under contract through 2028. Um, and uh, that's from Dave Zangaro. So Jake Elliott, um, <laughs> Jake Elliott is, is now signed through 2028. I'm not sure exactly how much cap money that'll save us. But we have a lot of cap money right now. Saquon Barkley. $3.9 million against the cap. I think we're somewhere in the range of like 35 or more million dollars still under the cap. Um, I think it's between 35 and 39. Um, so the Eagles are just a, in a really, really good position. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Um, how are you guys doing? What's up, uh, Logan, Batman, Brian, the Fandalorian, Philly 559, John Secunda, Raheem, um, Antonio, what's going on? So, Turtles, Chandler, what's up? Uh, CJ Davis, John Malone, Batman's twin, I like it. Uh, Vapor, um, Danny, uh, what's going on, everybody? Paul, what's going on? Jake, I'm trying to catch up to this chat really quick. Michael, John, no cut. Is that my man LB in here? I think I, Mike Hi Halo, what's going on? I think I saw LB in here. LB, if you're here, man, what's up, my man? Yeah, there he is. There's my man. I, I definitely am jonesing to do a little collab with, with LB and Mike and do, do some sort of something. So we'll have to put that together. Twitch, what's going on, man? Shout out to LB. Sub him up if you haven't. Um, King Eagle, what's going on? King of Kings, man. Third, first Super Chat of the day. Thank you so much. Anything with the Cowboys, I saw them at the dump. Nothing. There's talk that they might go after CJ uh, or AJ Dillon. Um, whatever. It, it, that guy does not scare me in the least. He's a good guy to have if you have a DeAndre Swift, but I, I do not sweat that at all. Dallas has officially got worse. Kay's Hanna, a member for 22 months. What's up, Dave? What is going on? Jackie, what's going on? How are you? Let me catch up. All right, so here's my thing. All right, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did I did a poll. Would you rather have Cameron Curl or Justin Simmons? Because it was like the middle of the night. My wife wakes up to go to the bathroom. She's getting up, and she sees me sitting in a chair. And I'm just sitting in the chair. TV ain't on, whatever. I'm just sitting there. I'm, I'm in my underwear just staring. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm like, I'm trying. I'm like, I had, I had an idea. I had an idea. Instead of signing Justin Simmons, let's sign Cameron Curl. And she's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. So she just went on her way. But I'm thinking we we have a chance to really revamp our whole secondary, make it young for, for a long period of time. So, so hear me out. He'd probably be cheaper, and he's only 24 years old. The dude's a hitter. Now you get him, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, right? You know Ringo eventually takes over, in my opinion, for Slay. And then you draft 
You draft a corner in the first round like Mitchell, somebody like that, the kid from Alabama, either one of the kids from Alabama. Now your whole secondary is young for the long term. And you take Reed Blankenship and you make him a, a third safety that could come in at certain times. Great depth piece. Now your whole secondary is set for years to come. Justin Simmons older. I think I want Cameron Curl over him because I have a young secondary. See, you want to take advantage of Saquon Barkley and that offense being so good. You want to take advantage of it by putting young guys, young pieces around on defense that'll be there long term. Then what I probably would do is I might go get Khalil Mack. If Khalil Mack gets cut, I go after him. I, I why not? What, what do you have to lose? Him or, or, or uh Chase Young? Go get one of those guys to mix in with your pass rush. They're obviously going to trade Josh Sweat. They're definitely going to do that. And then I still go out and I get like Devin White. I get a linebacker either through trade or free agency. And then I get then I get a couple in the draft. I'm good to go, man. My defense ready. That's that's my thought process, man. Um, you know, we want to get young on defense. We want to be built long term on defense. And Barkley, and the reason why I wanted Barkley was because I wanted my offense to be so good that it can allow for young guys to play. So that's that's my plan. What do you guys think? Uh, the floor is now yours. Let me see here what we got. Linebackers are coming. Linebacker is coming. But you want to get the right guy. You want the right guy. You know, you, you want to get the right guy. I really don't like Eli Ricks. He's inconsistent. He's young. He's got to develop. You know, those young guys, you got to give them a chance to develop. But what I, what I would do is I would have a totally revamped secondary. Now, I know a lot of people want Sertan, and they want a Sante Samuel Jr. or Snead. All right, I mean, that, that, that could change everything. If you have a chance to go get those guys only to a certain point, they're still pretty young too. But but if you got Cameron Curl, you got young safeties for the long term. That's what we want. We don't want one year deals, guys that play one year and then they're gone. So I'm all about Cameron Curl over Simmons. Now I'll take Simmons, don't get me wrong. But that that's my thinking. The King Kings met David Super Tigers. What about Xavier Worthy? He could we could Gal could get him. In the draft, yeah. I mean, you could. You could. YouTube pump life, man. Favorite super chat makes sense. Doing that can grow, they can go together. That's right. That's that's the advantage. That's what so many people don't understand about the Barkley signing, is that your offense is going to score so many points that even if you have flaws or young pieces on defense, you're going to you're you're not in a rush to have them all play well together. You're not just patching holes. You're you're allowing these guys to develop, and you've given them time because your offense is that good. You know? Chase Young might be going to the Saints. Yeah, he's visiting the Saints. I I, I think I think now now Khalil Mack would be an older guy a piece, but I just think if he could come in and give you seven to ten sacks, then you have insurance policy for Huff if it doesn't work out. Because they're they're trading sweat. Sweat sweat is getting traded. I don't think Reddick is. Batman to a Dave or Super Chat. He goes, I'm not worried about Barkley's injuries. The money was just right. Finally, running back being respected against Philly was late because he was making babies. No, I, I was I was messing around with Jake Elliott trying to get that stuff transferred from my phone to StreamYard. It wasn't working. Uh, I don't know what linebacker. I know De Devin White's still available, and I, I probably would sign him. 26 years old. I mean, I know he's he's on on the way down, you know, and then I would go and if I don't get him, the up. See, here's the thing: get the right linebackers. You, if they don't get a linebacker, if there's nobody they like in free agency, like how we make a trade? Find the linebackers who are in the last year of a deal who teams might want to trade them, and and do it. You know what I'm saying? And and Batman Twin, thank you for a super chat, my man. We got 941 people in here. Thank you so much. Yep, uh, we just extended Jake Elliott. We we talked about that at the opening. 
um, for four, uh, through 2028. Yep. All we need to do is draft Edric Cooper at Trotter Jr. Well, that's what I'm saying. And let them play. Just let them play. That That's what I want. That's why – that's the luxury of having a really good offense, you know? N Ricks needs to be on the outside, not the slot. Listen, I – I know, I know there's a lot of people that think Isaiah Rogers is going to play on the outside. He's going to be your primary slot guy. And we have him. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with Bradbury, you know, but if they have to keep him one more year, I just make him a backup and pay him. And I go get Mitchell or or the kid Arnold or or uh well, you know, Kool-Aid, and I start the rookie and let him play. You know what? Whatever mistakes they make early on the year, they'll only get better. But our offense will, will be able to carry it. I think Sertan is a lot. I mean, I think you have to give up at least a first-round pick and then some. Maybe two. Anybody um, know if Malcolm Butler's still playing? I, I don't think he is, William. Kyle says, Philly, let's make a trade for JOK. The last oh. Now, you know, <laughs> you know, if you were with me in his draft, how long did I did like every other video? I wanted JOK. I wanted JOK. Turned out to be a hell of a player. Oh yeah, go get him if he's available. John David Suchek goes. I want Simmons. Pause badly. I understand. I understand the appeal of Simmons. He played in Vic Fangio's system. He gives you uh, veteran leadership and, and things like that. I think he's a good good player. I would not be upset if they if he comes, but. What I'm thinking about is I could I could revamp this whole secondary with talent all across the board. Cheap. Cheap. Umbrella Man, Dave, super chat, my man. Uh, he goes, we love you, Philly. Happy hump day. Happy hump day to you too, man. I'm streaming today. I'll be streaming tomorrow. And then Friday, I'll, I'll know by tonight whether I, I can stream Friday. I'm trying to get off work then. I have... Um, I have a feeling Dallas going all in today. Yeah, there's nobody that they can really go and get in terms of free agency that scares me. You know, does the remaining money need to be used for draft picks? Is there enough left? We have like 35 to 39 million dollars in cap space. That's not including if you restructure uh, Hassan Reddick for another 11 million. We have like 35 million under the cap. We have more than enough. To get the rookies, we are well fine for that. We can make we can make at least two significant more moves, you know. But but I was just thinking, man, our our, our secondary has a chance to get young and talented. Bald Eagle, Davis, Super Chai goes sweat first and next year two second for Sertan. That's probably what it would cost, something like that. And then you have to pay him to a massive extension. The same time you have to pay, um, the same time you have to pay Devontae Smith. If you draft a guy like Mitchell or Arnold or Kool Aid, they're rookies for four years, five years. More Bamba, David Super Chat. He goes, there are a lot of top defensive backs in the draft, and not a lot of top linebackers. So we should focus on linebacker now and draft the top defensive back in the first round or trade first, fourth, and Bradbury for Sertan. Here's my thing, and thank you for the super chat. You you know, we're, you're you're only talking about um you're only talking about who the who the hell is it? Hold on, I gotta take this phone call. Hold hold on a second. Plenty of time. Come on. Oh, oh shit! Dad! No! Dad! It's oh, over! Shit. It's over! This game is over! Cut it off, it's over! I, I Congratulations, said. Green Bay. Congratulations, Green Bay. Congratulations, Green Bay. I said run the ball. Congratulations, man. Green Bay. Dak Prescott, you need to be fired today. Yeah. That was on you, Dak. That was on you, Dak. That was on you, Dak. I said run the ball. That was man. on Dak Prescott. Trying to feed the Trying to feed the You trying to feed the C Lamb. You got to give it to C. Lamb! God! It's over! It's over, Dad! Put Trey Lance in the game. Trey Lance can't do worse than you. I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I buy into this shit. I buy into this shit. Because here's the thing I am a grown ass man.
And I talk the talk. <sighs> it is killing me. All right, sorry about sorry about that. I work called me. Work called me. So where where were we? Uh, 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 the Bamba says there are a lot of top defensive backs in the draft, not a lot of top linebackers. So we should focus on linebacker now and draft the top defensive back first round. Trade first, fourth Bradbury for Sertan. I I mean, listen, if they trade for Sertan, I, I I have no problem with it. But but here's the thing: just because there's not a lot of linebackers in the draft, which I think there are some good ones, you, we we don't just want to reach for a guy just to have a guy. Like let I think how we could probably trade for one and and find a good one, you know. That, that, that's just my opinion. Uh, I know it's a little bit outside the box thinking here, but but to me, you're, you're three quarters of the way uh, to re totally rebuilding your secondary with young talent. Uh, YouTube Pump Life, Dave Super Chat. He goes, how do the Eagles have that much? What's Huff Cap? Not sure what Huff Caps is, is but um, Saquon Barkley's is only $3.9 million. But, yeah, the Eagles, the way they set it up is, you know, the first year this year, they give a lot of upfront signing bonus. I think it was $11.5 million signing bonus for uh, Saquon. So it, do it doesn't kill the cap. It's it's smart. It's smart. Uh, Umbrella Man, thank you for the super chat, my man. He says, uh, is the CI calling, <laughs> saying aliens? No, it was work calling. They had a question about something that, um, before I left, uh, I guess I didn't answer. Let's see here. The Dallas Cowboys announced that they proudly re-signed half of the bottle crew. <laughs> yes. Got to have a reliable kicker and Jake make underdrift the free agent all come up clutch. Listen, he, he was one of the best players we had last year. Yeah. Would you rather get Devin White or Bobby Wagner? Probably. Listen, I think Bobby Wagner had a better year last year, but but it's age is going to catch up with him, right? So I would go Devin White. I would hope that the change of scenery, Devin White gets back on track. He's only 26 years old. Uh, new tube, Diver Super Chat. He goes, what do the Eagles need is Nathan Gary. That's exactly what they don't need. <laughs> Report, the Pound Chargers will likely have to release, trade either Bosa or Khalil Mack, Keenan Allen or Mike Williams. Yeah. But if they release Khalil Mack, Mack played with Vic Fangio. Mack is also coming over off of 17 year, uh, 17 sacks. He's also old, right? But if if you could get him as a rotational guy, you know, and say, hey, listen, we're going to cut down on the amount of snaps you get, but you're still going to play a significant role. And if he could go out and get you seven, eight, nine sacks, then to me, it makes up for anything you lose with sweat. Especially if if a uh, Huff doesn't live up to what we want him to. Jay Tyler, Dave or Super Chat. He goes, which Mark Holmes meltdown is funnier? The brother screwed us or it's over? It's over. It's over. Uh, let's see. I shut my mouth. I don't know. Johnny Blaze from Madden, man. What's going on? He goes, please get Michael Anthony on the stream. I got to, man. I got to. I I'm telling you, I think I'm going to try to get him for my Cowboy streams next year. Uh, Jalen says, I think we're going to draft right this year. I think so, too. I I, I think the Eagles are going to – I think they're going to – I think they're going to make a trade for a linebacker. Not saying today, but I my gut feeling, I think the Eagles maybe trade for a specific guy. But they might like – they might like White. Watch Cooper Dijon highlights, please. You will want him. I ran track high school against him. Yeah, I'll check him out. I mean, I, I've watched a little bit of him, Ryan, but I need to go, like, actually watch game stuff, you know, not just highlights. I, I watched him. I have a, a channel membership video of Philly Reacts to him is one of the first ones that's coming out on Saturday. Razzle, so we need to get that linebacker. The Ravens just dropped. He's outside linebacker. Why did they drop him? He was injured last year, right? How he's listening to the fans, I love. It. I swear, how he watches this show. My top two guys I wanted: Barkley and C.J. Gardner Johnson. Boom. Uh, Wisconsin Eagle fans says Jason Kelsey 
this is what I'm regretting. I knew when I retired it was going to miss just an outstanding season for the Eagles, and it sucks. I want to be part of this so bad. Listen, I don't think he put in his paperwork yet. I don't think they filed his retirement. He could come back for one more year. I would love it. Hey, listen, and, and, and you know, how many times did Brett Favre retire and then change his mind? Uh, Linda, what's going on? Keep an eye on Jerome Brown from Miami, linebacker who played under Fangio. Yeah. Yeah, he's a guy. Now, he's, I think he's, is he in Tennessee visiting or something? But, yeah, he could be somebody. Let's see here. Uh, what what do rookies get for contract as far as uh, cap money? Uh, it's not too bad. It's all slotted, and they slot it basically um, exact numbers like before the draft and when you know what the salary cap is going to be. But usually they say you need about $20 million in cap space to be able to sign all your rookies um, because everything's slotted. Uh, so, so they'll be fine. The Eagles have – they're like $39 million under the cap right now. And I bet you they just, I bet you Jake Elliott, if somebody gets the info, let me know. I bet you Elliott just saved them another couple million. Let's see here. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Tom Brady. That's right. Tom Brady did it too. I mean, he he has time to change his mind. He can literally change his mind. You know, I can tell you what. Mark Holmes is going to lose his mind. Speaking of losing his mind, I don't think Mark can take it anymore. Like, like you know, uh, it's chaos in Dallas. They got the, the, the content creators are fighting with the radio station. Mark Holmes isn't even doing videos. It's great. And I just keep sending him pictures of Saquon Barkley. It's pissing him off. We got to talk Kelsey and Cox have given up one more year. I agree. Tyler says, this is as good, if not better, of a season than we got AJ, my opinion. In terms of free agency, yeah. Yeah, because he was a trade. I think you're right. I, I think so, too. Also, people forget we have Isaiah Rodgers still from the Colts. He should be able to play this season. He's going to play, and he's going to flourish. Frank Brown says, this offense should be able to consistently put up 30 points and occasionally hang 40 berg on someone. No one starting in the secondary should be over 30. Okay, Howie. Exactly. Exactly. Keep them all young and let them play. Let them all develop. You know, even, you know, if you if you have to add, like, you know, uh, uh, somebody older to, you know, for one year, one or two guys, fine. But you don't need to do it across the board. Get young guys and let them play on defense. And then in a, in, by the end of the year, next year, all of a sudden your defense is going to have all this young talent that is all played together and they're flourishing. Now your offense and defense are both going to be good and, and you'll be set. I'm, I'm really convinced they should go get Cameron Curl. I don't know that they will. I, I do think they probably will get another safety, though. Sport fan want David Superchat. He goes, Hunter Renfro should go to the Patriots um, for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, I wonder what those are. Uh, yeah, he, he probably will. They saved $1.8 million. So, so they saved, what, they saved pretty much all of uh, Devontae Parker's. Con oh, you know what? Let me put up my, my banner here. That was the other thing I, I had to update. But, yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, definitely hit that like button. The sooner we get to 1,000 likes, the sooner I stop asking. They got Lad McConkey on uh, NFL Network right now. Georgia's having a pro day. You know the Eagles are there. The Eagles are probably running the pro day. I think, see, here's my thing. Wide receiver, second round. I'm going to get myself like a Lad McConkey, somebody like that. You know, do something like that in the second round with a receiver. So so I'm thinking, let's say you keep Reddick, and let's say you go out and you got a, a Khalil Mack or you get um, an, another pass rusher, right? So I go corner first round, second round wide receiver, second other second round pick linebacker, third round linebacker, another third round pick because I'm probably going to have multiple uh, offensive linemen, and I'm good to go. Uh, 44 God said, uh, even Tom Brady himself is for behind the great Joey Harrington. Joey Harrington. That's a name from the past. No. 
Holy crap. Uh, when is Isaiah Rogers hearing date? If he's recent? I don't know, but he's been putting out some stuff that makes you think it's about to happen. Kelsey said he's pretty positive he isn't coming back and he's done. He said he will celebrate the Eagles having an off season. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not expecting him to. But, of course, the door would be open. I want Cameron Curl or Devin White then just draft the linebacker. That's what I would do. That would probably be my two moves today. I would, I, if you got Cameron Curl and C.J. Gardner-Johnson, man, and then let's say you want to put C.J. Gardner-Johnson in the slot at times, right? Boom, you have you have Reed Blankenship that could come in. I mean, he would be a really good third safety. Man, your your secondary would be set for years. It's my – I'm getting all pumped up about this because I, I, I love the idea. Andrew, they were super chat. He goes, Dallas Cowboys have traded the cleaning lady, Consuelo Reeves, from Kuhang Clans for Micah Parsons, a 2025 first-round pick per Mark Holmes. Mark is going to be sick when, when those players start wanting to leave. Uh, Peaches and Scheme says we need Patrick, Patrick Sertan. Getting Patrick Sertan – would would change nothing about what what I've said except for that you wouldn't have a first round pick, but you would still be young in the secondary because he's young, you know. I mean, you know, Cameron Curl's twenty four years old, C.J. Garner Johnson's twenty six years old. Uh, I don't know how how old uh, Ringo is, but he's young. If you drafted like Mitchell, uh, who that's who I kind of want in the first round, um, he's young. You're set, man. I'm I'm digging I'm digging my idea here. DJ or Devin Super Chat. He goes, how would you feel if we get Carol and Devin? Oh uh, yeah, perfect, perfect. Because the thing with with Devin White is, even though um, even though he didn't have a great year last year, he's still better than anything you have. I heard a rumor that the Cowboys are going to let that play out $60 million a year out and then tank pretty much and get rid of, of Lawrence, then let him walk and start over next year? Well, I mean, what, what it tells you is that they don't really believe in Dak. I mean, they, they don't believe in it. And, and you know, and, and I hear a lot of complaining every every time I listen to Mark. Oh, it's like it's like the whole video is about, oh, we got to protect the stand-up for Dak Prescott. It's never Dak's fault. Dak is not responsible for anything. And I, I and I asked Mark, why isn't Dak restructuring? Is he refusing? Priority number one is to get Hunter Renfro. Okay. He's legit slot receiver. Also still have Sidney Brown blanket ship to play opposite CJ Garner Johnson. That's what makes sense to me. Yeah, we do. We we still have Sidney Brown and you still have a Reed Blankenship. Um but I think camera curls better than both those guys. Yes, that that is who I want right now, Stephen. That would be my my first pick as of today. Five hundred. Uh, I heard a rumor that the Cowboys are going to let that. Oh, I read that one. Uh, talking sports with Landon. What's up, man? Shout out to you, man. It's been a while. So up five hundred. Congrats on Barkley. Thank you. Hurts a, a Giant fan, but what do you think of the Giants getting Burns? Uh, Burns is a good player, a really, really good player. So I think I think that your defense, I think the Giants' defense is going to be definitely legit. But they're going to have to hold people to, like, under 10 points because I don't know if your offense is going to do anything. But, yes. Peyton Wilson, we already have, uh, we already have his brother, Goddard. I'm trying to catch up here. Cryptic, David Superchego, Sertan Simmons play Slay Garter would be insane. It would be. I mean, do you guys really think that Sertan's getting shopped? Like, I, I could see, like, I could see Sneed getting traded, of course. Maybe even Asante Samuel Jr. But, I mean, would Denver be that dumb? I don't know. It, it's hard for me to believe it. Uh Cowboys are, are talking to A.J. Dillon, the least of my concerns. A.J. Dillon is a big back. He would be a good complementary back to another piece. But to me, if he's your number one back, he ain't, he ain't, breaking, he ain't breaking no 30-yard runs. He ain't breaking nothing. I'll tell you that. 
I, I think Dallas has gotten a lot weaker. And I thought Dallas's problem last year offensively was their run game was not good. It was so overrated. And they and they got worse. YouTube Pump Life Diver Super Tag goes, how long until Micah becomes an Eagle? 20, yeah, probably 2026. I think Eckler will be a pain in our ass. Eckler will. He will. He's the type of running back to be a pain in our ass. Well, I, I, the hottest the hottest rumor is is um is really it's uh Josh Sweat. Josh Sweat getting traded is the biggest rumor because it's the most likely thing to happen right away. Heard Cowboys are trying to get Zeke back. That's so funny. He's not King Henry. No. There's no, there's only one King Henry, and I'm really glad he didn't go to Dallas because, because Henry may be my fa- one of my favorite non-Eagles. I watched Henry. I I've told this story before, but when when I was uh, it was twenty like twenty eleven. I had a, I I was living in Florida because when I got married, uh, my wife's family, all her her family, her parents, they all retired and left the state, so she didn't have anybody left. I hated out the West Coast, so we bought a house in Florida, Fernandina Beach. Um, it's like right on the beach, but there's a school, high school right there. There's two, there's Fernandino Beach High School, and there's one Yuli. And I was driving home from work one day, and they were playing football. And I'm like, man, I want to go watch the game. So I go start watching his game. Derek Henry was, was, was the running back for this high school, Yuli. And he went completely off. And it was the first time I watched him play twice. And uh, I've been following him ever since. So I, I like uh, Henry. Zach says, Howie being held accountable now, like you said, he should 500. Doesn't pay for running backs, pay for Barkley. Let CJ Garner Joe Walk paid for him. Yeah, you enjoy – we're right all week. Been right, man, right. I've, 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 I think Howie's been listening. Uh, yeah, JOK would be perfect for the wh- – where, where is the JOK stuff coming from? Like, like I've heard three or four people bring it up. Now I know I said something yesterday about, but we gotta look at the last year of Rawlser. But, but is he even a a possibility of getting moved? I would love JOK. I mean, you could go back and watch videos about me saying the Eagles have to take JOK. JOK. I wanted him so bad that year. I would trade Sweat for a second, and a second for Satan. I don't think Michael. I don't think Denver would trade. Josh Sweat and a second for Sertan. I don't believe that would get it done. Matter of fact, I don't even know if they would take Josh Sweat. I I think it may literally have to just give him draft picks. DJ, thank you for super chat, my man. He goes, they need to get Cameron and De- and uh, Devin. Keep Reddick and then trade a first Sweat Bradbury for Sertan. Would you do it? I personally would do that. Yes. I would because Sertan's the best corner in my opinion, and he's young. But I don't think Denver would do it. I don't think Denver would want Sweat, or they might want Sweat, but I don't know what their cap situation is. From what I my understanding of Denver was, they would trade Sertan if it gave them enough picks to make a move for a quarterback. Draft linebackers, yeah, you could see that's that's what you want to do. You want to use. The advantage is on offense to build your defense and let the young rookie plays. I, I agree. We got 1,494 people in the chat. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Raul Chetta breaking. He said, the Philadelphia Eagles are working on a to get a multi-year done deal with safety. Just Simmons, the deal is not done. Defensive court, Vic Fangio wants Simmons. Yeah, that's what was reported yesterday. I don't know what happened, um, but we'll, we'll see if it plans out. Now, if you had if if I would take Cameron Curl before Simmons, I believe that Simmons would go is probably more likely to go to the Eagles than Curl. I think Simmons is re Simmons is a real legit possibility. Okay, I don't know about Curl, but I mean, geez, if you got Curl, Howie, if you're listening, get Curl. You have CJ. Draft the corner in the first round. Find the right linebacker, get him in free agency or trade for him, and then we good to go. Yeah, you would have to trade for JOK, but that's see that's where I think that's where I think the Eagles are going to get a linebacker. 
I actually think the Eagles are going if, – if there's no linebackers they like in free agency, then they're going to trade for one. So we got to look at guys in, like, the final year of rookie deals. Those are the kind of moves Howie makes. I like JOK, though. First sweat Bradbury for Sertan. You're on crack, bro. I'm on crack. I'm on crack. I don't know why. Why am I on crack? I don't I don't think I have any more. Uh first sweat in Bradbury for Sertan. Yeah, I would do it. But Denver wouldn't. <laughs> why would Denver do that? Christian Davis Super Chat. He goes, Washington got Jeremy Chin for four million. Left out loud. We couldn't. I would rather have CJ Gordon Johnson. CJ Gardner Johnson is better than Chin. You want Justin Jefferson? Well, you'd have to trade AJ Brown if you did that. Hey, 500, is Devontae Smith getting an extension? What's going on? We need some. Yeah, he's getting an extension. He has an option year. So the Eagles have an option year with him. He'll play this year out and they'll have an option year. And and no and no extend them. They had to extend. Uh, they had to extend Landon Dickerson first because his his deal runs out quicker. But you've got time with Devontae. Devontae is not going. There's one thing I'm sure about. Devontae Smith is going nowhere. You don't even have to worry about it. Sean Davis, man, thank you so much for the generous super chat, man. I really really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome. I, I really appreciate that, man. You're so generous. Um, thank you for all that you've done, man. Can we get 1,000 likes, guys? Yes. 1,000 likes helps us against the algorithm, and uh, it puts the channel out there so everybody can see what's going on with the Eagles. So thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate that. It's very generous of you. Yep. To review what we, we started the show, Jake Elliott extended, signed a four-year deal worth uh, through 2028. Um, and once again, the Eagles make another great move. YouTube Pump Life, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, if the Eagles was picking top five, you got certain, not 22. Well, that's the thing. That's why I think it would take you at least two number ones. You know. South Jersey, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, saying official page Philly 500. What's up, man? Instead of Simmons. What was instead of Simmons? I did. Uh, uh, yes, but next CJ. Yes, but next. Oh, next is CJ. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you there. I. I. I like. Uh, I like. I like. Um. I like this Cameron Curl man from Washington. The kid's a hitter. Pinky up show class exactly. Jeremiah Owuska Koromoa. Uh, yep. J O K. Let's see here. Someone please fix the news. It's always breaking. <laughs> That's pretty good. Rather have camera curl. I would love camera curl. You know the fix is in when Vegas has the Cowboys over the Eagles to clinch the NFC East. I don't think they've updated the odds yet. Uh, they need to. Lions of Falcon looking to trade for a pass rusher. Well, I mean, Josh Sweat. See, I, I'm still under the mindset I don't want to trade Reddick. I, I don't want to trade him because if you trade Reddick and you trade Josh Sweat, then you have who? You have um, Nolan Smith, who is unproven, and you have uh, this Bryce Huff, who looks like he's going to be really good, but he has only done it one year. There's not real consistency. So where is your where is your uh, you know where is your sacks going to come from with with Hassan Reddick? I know that I'm getting double digit sacks next year. I don't worry about it. So to me, uh, I keep Hassan Reddick and I trade Sweat. Now, if you do, if you do trade Reddick and you do trade Sweat, then you you got to draft a pass rusher in round one. Let me try to catch up. Um, I uh, is it Lonnie? Is that an L or an I? Lonnie Taylor, welcome to Dingbat Nation. Thank you so much for joining. Let me get this here. Um, let me adjust this and that. Uh, appreciate you so much. We got fifteen hundred people in the chat. I appreciate everybody for being here. You guys are awesome. 
I like Jake Elliott. Let's see, four years, six. So Jake Elliott's getting six million dollar average, tied with Justin Tucker for the highest paid kicker in NFL history per source. Elliott's coming off career. Wow. So he's he's right up there with with uh, Tucker. He deserves it. I mean, he's clutch as you can come. That kick versus Buffalo in the rain. Oh my gosh, dude, that was incredible. Clutch, he's clutch, dude. Sweat to the cards for linebacker Zave. Uh, give you how old is he? Uh, if they're if they're getting Simmons, then they are going to draft another safety in the draft. I heard that they love Cameron Kitchen. They might. I mean, they, they usually don't take safeties early, but you know, maybe they will. They they're changing some things. So, I mean, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I'm telling you, this curl kid is a hitter. I think I think if you added him with C.J. Gardner Johnson, who's a ball hawk, I think it's a great complimentary piece. You got two young guys. My safeties for the future are set. 24, 26 years old. Now I draft myself uh, the kid Mitchell um, in the first. I play him right away, right over Bradbury. I start him. And then, boom, I'm good to go. How do you think Isaiah Simmons would fit in fan? He well, he know he knows it. I mean, he played in it. He had his best years in it, and uh, he would fit perfectly. And he would bring leadership. There's nothing wrong with Justin Simmons coming to the Eagles. He would be a, a huge signing, and he would help you immediately. He, you know, it just length of how many years would it? It would probably cost you more to get him, and and you know he's thirty what thirty years old. Um, what I'm thinking is get get the guy who's going to be there longer. You know, I I think I think Justin Simmons comes in and gives you at least one very good year. At least, maybe two. Huff to the sweat to the cards for Zaven Collins. Let me let me see. Let's look up Zayvon Collins. I want to see how old he is. See, age is, is, is a big thing for me right now because I, I'm so sick and tired of the one-year deals. You know, one year, one year, one year. Oh, he's 24 years old. Inter interesting. Yeah, it might not be bad. I'm just looking at his statistics. I don't know if the Eagles would do it, though. I don't know if they would do it. What did you miss? Not much. Jake Elliott signed an extension. Dave does what's going on, man. He goes, yo, what's up, 500? What's good? My birds, fam. Birds looking good, baby. I, I mean, I don't know. The, I don't know how we're going to wait. All these months to start the season, I'm ready to. I'm ready to like have the draft tomorrow and then start camp the week after. Reddick is the best quarterback hunter we got. Sweat is getting traded. I agree. Reddick, Reddick is well. Now you got C.J. Gardner Johnson, so I believe you have another playmaker. I believe C.J. Gardner Johnson playmaker, but really he's one. He's the only pass rushing playmaker right now that you have. He's a game changer. He wreaks havoc. Um, you just don't let him go, in my opinion. You think we trade back from 22? We could. I'm thinking we're going to – I'm thinking we trade up, you know. Yeah, Ed, I mean, listen, you could definitely go edge at 22. It's possible. Um, and, and most likely it's more realistic in a corner. Um, I, th those are my two positions that I'm probably going, either edge or linebacker or, or, uh, or corner in the first. Do I like the idea of Chase Young? I do. I, I'm a lot of people get on me for this, but I say bring Chase Young in as your third pass rusher and let him play. Why not bring him in? I mean, you bring him in and you rotate him. You're going to trade Josh Sweat. So now let's say let's say Huff doesn't live up to expectations. At least you have a backup plan. Yeah, I, I would do it. I think, matter of fact, I'll say this. I think that I would probably. Yo, Young or Khalil Mack? That knowing that I'm trading Josh Sweat, and knowing that 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 Huff has only had double digit sacks one year, 
in his career, and, and we need to see more, I would go out and get a guy like Khalil Mack or, or Chase Young. I would. And, and Khalil Mack played with Vic Fangio. He knows him from Chicago. And he had 17 sacks last year. It's just that he's old. I don't want him to be like a Robert Quinn situation. But if I can get seven, eight sacks from him, seven to ten, then he's good. Was I say Sim is supposed to be some super coverage? Yeah, he was supposed to be like a, a do-it-all Swiss Swiss Army knife, could play all over the place. It didn't pan out, and then he got traded what to the Giants. Lee, Lee Gennaro, man, thank you so much for the super chat. He goes, Philly 500, your brim is too straight. I like, I, I don't like the curves. I like it flat. I got a big, fat, round head. I need a little flat brim to make it look smaller. Uh, let's see. Oh, Zayvon's on a rookie deal? Yeah. I mean, that that's what you got to look for. Sean Dave, thank for Super Chat. He goes, this is how uh, uh, OGs rock the hats. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Sean Davis, man, thank you for Super Chat. But, man, you, you are the man. Shout out to you. Uh, Dre, too, what's going on, man? New Tube Gaming, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, how much money does uh, Jake Extension free up? I haven't seen how much it frees up yet. So if anybody knows, let me know. Because I, I haven't seen how much it saves us. We're already like, we're already like 30, we're already like 38, what, 38, 39 million dollars under cap. Everybody wants me to turn. I like it flat. I like my hat flat. That's about it. Khalil Mack fits the scheme. Oh, yeah, he, he definitely does. 500, I have been watching your channel for at least five years. P please, for a wrench. Thanks. All right. But I have I have strict, strict rules on for mods. Only you never, never time people out unless it's a racist, overt spam. Or, like, threatening to, like, kill somebody. Chop their head off or something like that. Other than that, there's no need to, to uh, there's no need to, to, to touch it. Pause. When I see your name come up again, I'll, I'll give it to you. I can't find it on the regular. I like Chop Robinson, yeah. See, I think the Eagles are trading up. I think they're trading up in the draft. I think they're going to move up in the first round. Lasseter man ran 4-6 pro day. Stock was really a 4-6. Why is Debo Samuel changing his number to number one? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, Sean Davis, man. Thank you so much for gifting five... Philly 500 memberships, man. You are the man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. I don't know who's getting them, but whoever's getting them, welcome to Dingbat Nation. And uh, thank Sean Davis for that. It's very kind of you. AJ Dillon to Dallas. <laughs> you can have him. He'll be running like this. Oh, let me get a donut on the way. Too slow. Too slow. He needs to be a second running back, not a first. Wouldn't that be some crazy issue if we kept both Reddick and Sweat? Yeah, well, then at that point, you don't need to go get sign a, a, like a, 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 you know, another pass rusher. I think you're good. Colton B. Davis, Super Jacobs. Any news or rumors? Young Huff. Young is better than Huff. I don't know. I mean, Huff, Huff is produced. Um, nothing, nothing really new except for, you know, they said that Howie, Howie is still, uh, he's still hunting for, for a linebacker. Dan, what, what is he trolling about? You want to be a dingbat? Well, 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 here we go. We're here, baby. 
Uh, some black ninja Dave Super Chat goes, Yo, Philly Elliott's contract is four years, $24 million. It's a yeah, extension. So through 2028, six million dollars per year. I'm not sure what it says cap wise, though. Michael, thank you, man. There it is. There you are. Where are you? Cowboys remain quiet, is what they said in Rappaport. Is report. Philly, pull up Dak's brother' recent tweet. I I don't I don't have it uh set on here to to do it. Philly, would you want a corner first round? Let's say Chop falls late first round. Let's say Chop falls late first round, early second. Would you move up to get him? And then with the second second round pick, get one linebacker. Yeah, if let's say you took a corner in the first round, right? Let's say you take Mitchell, and let's say Chop Robinson drops. Like for your example, I don't think it's going to happen. But if he if he got to late first round, I would I would try to trade up and get him immediately. I think I think he's going. I think Chop Robinson going top top fifteen sixteen picks. Dating Sports, you, you missed my super chat. I did. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I apologize. Here you go. I am a little behind, but I apologize, uh, JD Sports Talk. Um, let's see. Uh, prediction, Eagles starting secondary next season. Predicting it? See, that's hard to do. I'm going to say... I'm gonna say what I I'm gonna say Mitchell, slay your corners, CJ Garter Johnson, and uh Justin Simmons safeties, although I want curl and um Isaiah Rogers is your slot corner. That that would be my prediction. If, if we're putting in something out there. Just to make it more uh interesting than saying Bradbury and Slay. Ch Chad Robinson is a freak athlete, but he'll Still really raw of a development piece, which is why I don't think he'll go top 20. See, I, I think I think guys like that, I think somebody around 15, 16, they'll, they will take a chance on that talent. But, yeah, he is raw. He is. Which is another reason why he's perfect for the Eagles. He would be perfect for the Eagles. He would have time to develop. Mike Williams has been released, according to Rapport. I got it in here. Connect it to my TV. Call B. Thank you for super chat. My man goes, we need Edric Cooper. I love him. I love him. I, I think so. I mean, that you know, those are second. I think he's a second round pick. Right? Some people say first, but I think he's a second round guy. I want to drop uh, my top today, but my wife will. <laughs> yes, she will. The Pound Chargers are releasing Mike Williams, making him a free agent. Williams on the books for $32 million cap hit, becomes a free agent wide receiver available. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, they got Devontae Parker. I still think Devontae Parker is like, it was like basically a free signing for them. I think he's a camp body. I think somebody might beat him out. I think I think Parker is at four very least. Mike Williams, I mean, I I would probably stay away. Isn't he coming off injury? Uh, yo, Philly five hundred. Thanks for all you do, man. If Bitcoin reaches one hundred thousand, you can do this full time. If it reaches one hundred thousand, I don't know if I have enough Bitcoin. Unfortunately, I have Bitcoin. I don't. I don't have enough Bitcoin. I got in late on the Bitcoin. Um, but you want to hear a story about Bitcoin real quick? Back in the day, right when Bitcoin was worth nothing, it was hardly. Well, it was hardly worth anything. Um, we, my, me and my brother, we had this. It was a fantasy league. It was a keeper league, right? And my brother was running it, and somebody offered him like forty. 40 Bitcoins 
if they would let him join because the guy didn't have cash or you know regular money, but he had 40 bitcoins. And my brother was like, nah, dude, I'm good, we're good. And he still remembers that. Like he turned down like 40 bitcoins. He'd be like a multimillionaire if he just would have kept it. But he but but it wasn't worth anything. Nobody thought it was gonna be anything. So he he regrets that. I I have Bitcoin, I don't have enough. I have a ton of Ethereum. That's what I have. A uh, Colton David Super Chat goes, Howie's next move needs to be extending Smitty. Yes. Uh that that will happen, but that will probably happen next year or later in the year. I, the thing is you got the op, the option year. He he's they're gonna pick up his option year and he's there for another year. So you're we're good to go. I promise you, the one thing that will not happen, the one thing that will not happen is that they don't uh sign or extend uh, him. He he will be an eagle for a long time. Mike Williams did get released. Yeah. What's the next jersey you plan getting? My next two jerseys are Saquon Barkley and C.J. Gardner-Johnson. I'm not sure what C, what number C.J. is going to be. <laughs> We're Shiv EMP. Well, that's true. That's true. You'll get paid on Ethereum, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I have Bitcoin. But, uh, you know, I wish I had more. I, I just remember when it was, like, really cheap and I could have bought it. And I didn't. Didn't know back then. J.N., remember for 21 months, I work in crypto. Avox is the next big thing. Oh, okay. I'll start. Is it? I, I, think I, I think I have a tiny bit of it. Let me look at my crypto real quick. Yeah, I have like I have a couple dollars worth. It was free. I'll have to buy some. Uh Knight says uh the joke Elliot extension uh, the oh, why did I say Jake? I read it, Jake. The Jake Elliott extension 1.8 this year, I'm pretty sure. So 1.8 million dollars. So we're we we're like at 40 million dollars of cap space still. We got like 30 something, 40 million dollars of cap space. My gosh, man. We, we can wait on Slim Reaper settled. Oh, yeah, we're fine with, with it. You know, we should trade for Darnell Washington from the Steelers. He's literally the sixth O-lineman uh, blocking machine. Me? Hey, I'm open to it. See, I think, I think we're going to draft a wide receiver in the second round. I do. I think the Eagles are going to draft a, a second round wide receiver. CJ gonna wear twenty three like first time play for us. Are you sure? I, I thought I thought somebody said he wanted. To, well, he changed he changed his number in in Detroit. But yeah, if he wears twenty three, I'll I'll buy. I'm gonna buy it either way. I think CJ should be zero too. Yeah, yeah. Chargers cutting Mike Williams. What was he? What injury did he have last year? Am I concerned about right guard? No. I'm not. I mean, we definitely need to figure it out. I don't want to say that. But I have such confidence in Stoutland getting the right guy and developing the right guy. I'm not worried about it. Like, I'm like, we'll do we'll do fine. I like this kid Steele, you know, and then they got Hennessy. He might battle. And you could always draft the guard, it, it, you know. But it, it's something that we got to watch. But I trust. I trust Stoutland with the offensive line. I almost sounded like a Canadian. The offensive line in my, um, I just glad to be part of this organization. Mike Williams uh, is an injury waiting to happen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Donis Mitchell from Texas. He ran a great forty time. And he's big. I I love it. Yeah, him worthy. Somebody like that. Bring him in, baby. Bring him in. I think you draft the wide receiver early, and then you have Parker could be like your fourth wide receiver. You know, I still they're, they're not done at wide receiver. The Parker thing was like a give me because it was because uh the the Patriots are paying for most of his salary. Oh, Sean Davis, man, thank you so much, man, for that super chat, man. Appreciate it. Can Paul Schweig get a membership? 
Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how, how, if you buy a membership, you can't, it doesn't let you do it. It doesn't let you do it to, uh, who you choose. It's like random. I don't know. There's no way for me to specifically give somebody, not that I know of, but I'll have to look into it, but I don't think there's any way I can do that. Uh, Philly first is big rumors about Devin White and Joseph Fields. What's penalty card? What's penalty card? I don't know what that means. And, and thank you, Sean, for the uh, super chat. For outside hurts. What defense and offensive player has most pressure to have a great season? Next. I Man, I think I think there's a lot of guys. When you're Saquon Barkley, you get that big contract. You got to perform. I also think I also think Hassan Reddick. I mean, Reddick has to has a lot of pressure. He's got to perform this year because he might not get an extension. So he might he, he he needs to go out and have a solid year if this is the last year under the contract with the Eagles. Adams hey, Mitchell will be. Way better than Worthy. I like Mitchell a lot. I like him a lot. He, he to me, is the kind of guy that you put right away in the slot and you play him. And then, eventually, when the day comes that, you know, A.J. Brown it leaves, because you're not going to be able to keep those guys together forever. I think you've got A.J. Brown another two more years. But when he goes, you have Mitchell and you put him outside with Devontae and you're ready to go. Dudes haven't watched uh, Trotter Jr. They want him because of his dad. Well, I think a lot of people have that connection. I think that's fair to say. But I think he's going to be good. I know there's a lot of people that want to say he's too small. But go go look at go look at Ray Lewis's um, combine. Uh, you know his, his measurements. They're pretty much the same weight. You know, in the combine coming, he'll put on weight. He'll get bigger. I think Trotter Jr. is going to be a good player. I, I do. I think he's going to be a good player. Is he what the Eagles want, and does he fit? I don't know, but I think he's going to be a good player. Devin White is very good. He, he's been having, like, I thought. I think he lost his starting job last year, though, didn't he? Jordan Davis really uh, played really, really good. He's our run stopper. He, he faded at the end of the year. He's another guy that's got pressure. To me, this is make or break for uh, Jordan Davis. Like, he has to come in and be in shape and ready to go. I think the most pressure on defense is either uh, Davis or Carter. On defense, uh, no one is under the gun more than Hurts. Not by me, Hurts. Oh, yeah, Hurts Hertz has got... Hurts is always going to, the quarterback's always going to have that pressure. You know, it's just the way it is. Yeah, Trotter's like six foot. Yep. Can you break down why we, you think we need to draft a wide receiver early? Well, I think, I think you need, the reason why I say that, DJ goes one, you're going to need depth at the receiver, right? You got two good receivers, but I still think you need a third wide receiver. So you need a third wide receiver. Then on top of that, you you know you're paying uh, AJ Brown his money. You're paying Devontae Smith his money. How much are you going to pay a free agency to go out and get a, a, a good wide receiver? Bring him in. Are you going to put all that money into receivers, or do you go into the draft? You draft a guy who could come and play right away, and you don't pay a ton of money. Also, you have to remember that you have to extend Devontae Smith. Then, A.J. Brown, he's got two years left on his deal. The, the Eagles aren't going to pay two wide receivers over $20 million a year for five, six years. not going to happen. So I think once, once Devontae Smith gets his extension and it kicks in, and once A.J. Brown's contract is kind of done, um, I don't know that they're going to pay both guys. So there's a good chance A.J. Brown walks. So if you take a guy early, you you kind of basically solve two problems. You get a guy that can come in and play and be a good third wide receiver. And you're not paying him a lot of money. And when the time does come and that day unfortunately comes when A.J. Brown might go, 
you then have a guy that goes right in there and fills uh, fills that spot, and you're set for another couple years. You don't have to worry about it. That's why I, I think drafting a wide receiver early could be an interesting option. What do you think? Uh, your, Mar- uh, your boy Mark is now comparing the media coverage on Dak to uh, Desert Storm. Man, man, lose my- to Desert Storm. I don't even know what that what the hell's going on with the whole Dak thing. Like apparently Dak is is being accused of something. Mark won't talk about it, but I don't I don't know what happened. They're gonna extend AJ Brown a couple of years. I'm not sure, Tone. I mean, are, what are you gonna pay? I mean, Justin Jefferson's gonna reset the market. So Justin Jefferson's asking for 30 million a year. You're going to pay, and you have to extend Devontae. Then you'd have to, I don't know how much they're going to pay two wide receivers. Um, so that's that's why I think eventually he he will probably end up leaving. Uh, James says, Philly, it's easy to say if the wide receiver works out. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, Listen, you can say that about every move, every position, everything you do. If it works out, if it doesn't, you have to assume it's going to. You have to draft and assume they have to draft the right guy. Totally separate conversation. I don't want to trade Brown. I will. I want to keep Brown. Don't get me wrong. I love A.J. Brown. There's nothing. I have no issues with A.J. Brown. I would keep him as long as I can, but. Just the reality of the business, the reality of the way the money and the cat works. I don't know that they're going to pay two wide receivers $25 million a year. Uh, I don't know that that'll happen. Devin Allen uh, doesn't do anything. He doesn't get a chance. All the money is going up bigger salaries. It, it, It is. It is. But it's still hard for me to believe that they're going to pay two receivers $30 million a year or whatever it'll be when the time comes. It's just it's just the business of the situation. I, there's no way in hell I'm letting Devontae Smith go. I mean, I mean, you know, we're talking about A.J. Brown leaving. We're talking about two, three years down the road. We're not talking about not talking about now. We're just we're just getting ahead of it, and, and we're and we're also getting ourselves a third wide receiver. GT, thank you for the super chat, my man. Appreciate it. He goes, should Nick, should Nick co type play starters or preseason? And what do you think Big Sills thinks about Hurts and more? I don't think I don't think he, I don't I I don't think he thinks uh, I don't think he thinks it's going to work out with more and, and Hurts. I think he thinks that Hurts is a is a running quarterback, and that's what he does, and he's not going to be a passing quarterback, blah, 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 blah. So he thinks that we shouldn't have paid Jalen Hurts, basically. Um, as far as Nick Cota, I think he should play the starters in preseason. I think they need to actually play these guys. They were not ready last year, and I think they have to. Yeah. Uh, James is. I want that dude Kool-Aid just so we can have a dude named Kool-Aid. What flavor do you think he's named after? Uh, Cherry? I'll say Cherry. How am I feeling about C.J. Garner-Johnson? White rerun. (laughs) That's how I'm feeling. Now Make sure you guys have it. Hit that like. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. How many likes do we got? Where are we at? Anyways, we're at 658 likes. Let's get to a thousand likes so I don't have to ask any more to anybody. Hopefully the Eagles got something coming down, down the road here. So a girl came out and accused Dak of assaulting her and really? Holy crap. I haven't seen that at all on the news. So so, so what happened? So, so somebody accused the DAC of it, and 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 I guess Marx loses his mind or something. I know something happened with the radio station there or something. I don't know. I don't. 
Uh, it's interesting. No, Mark hasn't said anything about that. I mean, it is. It's an accusation. It has to be proven. But I, I didn't. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Okay, and Dak John says Dak is suing the woman for fake. Okay, for so he's suing. So he's suing her. Is that like she filed a, a complaint and then he sued in return, or did he go like after her? Dak is suing a woman for fake allegations. Same thing with Deshaun Watson. These women want to get back. Yeah, you yeah, no, you got to be careful, dude. It, you know, it's it's tough, man. You got to be careful. That's crazy. Dak doesn't strike me. Dak doesn't strike me as as you know. I don't know. He, he just seems like. It, uh, I don't know. I don't know the guy personally, I, I, so how would I know? But he just seems like a guy that would be, like, in one relation with one girl, and that would be it. But who knows? Yeah, Mike Williams got released. Uh, I don't want Mike Williams. I don't want Mike Williams. Yeah, the salary cap will go up. That's true. That's true. And it's probably going to go up significantly. So maybe the Eagles will say we will we don't care we'll take two receivers. If that's the case, then 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 we don't need to get a receiver anytime soon. We don't need to go early. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get ahead of it, and I'm trying to get a, a third wide receiver to play. I like like for exact like if you want if you want like to go early just to get a really good slot receiver. Like I think like McConkey, like I think he would be a great receiver to have in the slot. But I don't see him going on the outside, you know. But a guy like Mitchell, to me, Mitchell could play in a slot and then eventually move outside. I don't think McConkey will. I think he's a good slot receiver, and he'll purely be that. Uh, Slipknot says, I think it's funny these Giant fans are being so toxic to Saquon for the fact that he's literally not his fault how bad Giants have been. They made it to the playoffs in 22 He got and got killed. They, yeah, he's been carrying that team for years, and they they lose and lose and lose. And the one year they go to the playoffs, it's on. It's not. It's not because of Daniel Jones. It was because of Saquon Barkley. That's what got them to the playoffs. He he carried them in the playoffs, and uh, I don't blame him for leaving. They should have signed him a year ago. Uh, Thomas says. What do the Eagles get in free agency? Devin White, Mike Williams, Connor Williams, Justin Simmons, or Chase Young? I think I think Justin Simmons is definitely going to happen. I think, well, I, I won't say definitely, but I think Justin Simmons has a really good chance of happening um, because he wants to play with Vic Fangio. Um, I think Devin White, I, I don't know what the Eagles feel about him, but I would like that move. Uh, and then Chase Young, I'm not. I don't think the Eagles touch. I actually think the Eagles. I think Khalil Mack is the guy to watch with the Eagles, because I think Khalil Mack might entice the Eagles if he, if you know, if they could get him. Uh, JD Sports Talk. I think Jordan Davis has a lot of pressure to play well. Jalen Carter too. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Let me see. I'm trying to catch up here. Yeah, now Dak is trying to counter sue the woman. Oh, he's counter suing. Uh, it was consensual, but she did have a rape kit done in here. And oh, well, you know, we'll have to let we'll have to let it play out. I, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, you know, it's possible for for us to know what's really going on. But that that came out of no. When did this all happen? Like this came out of nowhere. I haven't heard it, the news talk about it at all. But why are they? But why? But why is Mark mad at the radio station? That's why I don't understand. Without Fletcher Cox, who steps up and brings toughness to the D line? Aside from Milton Williams, everyone else seems soft. I think Jalen Carter. I think Jalen Carter is a, a, a game wrecker. I think he's a, a wreaker of havoc, um, and he's going to be that as he develops. Why would we want to an old Khalil Mack? Well, if you're not getting him to be a starter or a number one guy, but let's say as your third pass rusher, right? 
if you, you you're going to trade Josh Sweat, that's going to happen. Now you you replace him with you got Bryce Huff, right? Who he looks like he broke out last year, had double digit sacks, but he's only done it one year in a row. So what, there is not one year in a row. I keep saying that one year. He only did it one year. So the fact that he's only done it one year, uh, aren't you know as an insurance policy to make sure that you don't lose the production that you're going to lose by trading Sweat. A guy like Khalil Mack, if he came in, took a little bit of money, could come in, give you seven to ten sacks, then you have an insurance. It would be short term. This way, you'll know and let Huff play. We'll see what he does. And then Nolan Smith can develop more. And uh, it's an insurance policy. That's why I would do it as a one-year insurance policy. Now, the reason, other reason I say Khalil Mack is Khalil Mack had 17 sacks last year. 17. So if so if his production drops at half, you're still okay. But that's why. Would I I would I would prefer Chase Young, but I think Khalil Mack fits the system of Vic Fangio. He played with him. So that's why. That's that's why. So you're saying that Carter can be as hard as Fletcher Cox. I don't think anybody can be as hard as Fletcher's Cox. I don't think they could get the deep penetration. Shout out to Adrian from Bitter Birds. But he's he's got potential. So says, I wonder uh, why people keep linking us to Justin Fields. Like, uh, wouldn't he want to continue to be a starter at a franchise who needs a fresh start to correct rather than be a backup? But yeah, I, I know. It's, it's weird. I, I think what happened is that no matter what, nobody wants him as a starter this year. So he's going to go somewhere as a backup. Now, the value that Chicago thought that they had in him isn't there. You saw Mac Jones got traded for basically nothing. And um, I think I don't think there's many options. So I think they look at the Eagles and say, well, the Eagles love quarterbacks. They've they've done that before. And and he he's similar in in style to Hertz. So it may be a, a good backup situation. I don't know. I, I worry that it causes more problems than it helps. No, Hollywood Brown, I think he's getting ready to go to Cincinnati, right? Is that, I, th I think he's signing with the Brown, uh, the Chiefs. That's what I heard. I don't know if it went through or yet. If you have a little money and some fame, a woman will your life for a dollar. Be careful. I'm married, bro. My the I, I I trust my life with my my wife, you know. The one thing I know is she didn't marry me for money because I didn't have any. You know, everything that I've accumulated, everything has been together. So I'm set. I'm good. Three hour shakedown. We'll see, Iron Mike. Uh, starting to think these beer contracts are becoming traps for athletes these days. These accusers are coming out more and more paid. Yeah, it, it's dangerous because, you know, you 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 become rich and famous. You can go out and pretty much get any woman you want, but it's always a danger. You, I mean, you really need to find one person and settle down if you're an athlete. And yet you have the ability to, to go out and get whatever you want. But it's just dangerous. How are we stepping up this year big time? Wentz played good uh, on the Rams, Philly, and Flacco played good on the Browns. Do you think they will get a starting job somewhere? I do not. No, I do not. I don't even understand. Like, I read something yesterday that they, the Flacco didn't go back to the Browns because Watson didn't want him to. He felt threatened. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's crazy. I think they're both backups. Lonnie Taylor, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Hertz took a small step back with the turnovers and not just taking the checkdowns, but to think people say he's not a passer and it won't work with more annoys me while Josh Allen gets nothing. I agree. I, I think I think he's going to have a monster year with uh, 
with with Moore. And and you know, people forget the guy played what a bum leg early in the year. He played all that time. Um, I think I don't know. I mean, did he take a small step? I guess there's some things you know he he could improve on and stuff. But I don't know. You know, after that Buffalo game, he was the odds favorite to win the MVP. Everybody forgets about that. I I, I don't know. I think I think Hertz gets gets way too much criticism. But at the same time, I understand that just goes with the position. What's your draft crush? I don't know if I have a crush yet, but this Quinion Mitchell, Quinion Mitchell, right now would be the closest thing. Him or the, the Adonis Mitchell. One of the two Mitchells would be it as of right now. I like Fields of Se Seahawks. Yeah, I could see that. I, I mean, I, I think I think McKee should play, should come in. I don't know that he's I trust him as a backup though. Would you take Mac if he plays a third down pass rusher role like Long did? When he, absolutely. I mean, listen, he had 17 sacks last year, Khalil Mack. 17 sacks. If you if you went to him and said, Well, we're gonna sign you a deal, we want you to be, we want we're gonna cut your reps down. However, you know, you're gonna add length uh, to your career because you're gonna not get as worn down. I, I I think it would be perfect. Let me I'm trying to catch up to this. You must have good life insurance. I got a good wife. That that's that's my insurance. Uh, King Jordan, David Supertre goes, what do you think about Joe Flacco being our backup? He threw 1,600, 13 touchdowns, five games for Cleveland. Doesn't sound bad. No, it doesn't sound bad to me either necessary, necessarily, but I do think they want to get a, a backup that's similar to, to Jalen Hurts' skill set, you know, so they don't have to change their offense too much. That's why I think Fields is, is talked about so quick. I can't believe Marcus Mariota got picked up so quickly. I need another defensive trade. I think I think it's coming. Pause. I don't know. You look like the type. If a hot chick said one night stand, you would light up for that. Really? I look like a cheater? No. No, that's not me, my friend. The one thing I'm 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 settled. I mean, I've been married 17 years. I'm I've been married 17 years. I don't I don't cheat. What's in my youth was in my youth, but I don't cheat. 500 don't lie. A wife married you for baby making sessions after these birds I <laughs> I I I picked the right one. Uh, Woolworth Davis, welcome to Dingbat Nation, buddy. Thank you so much. Welcome to Dingbat Nation. Chase Young is lazy. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe, maybe. But if you got him cheap as a third pass rusher, I mean, he's got enough upside. Why not take a chance? Uh, adding Barkley was like adding another A.G. Brown to the offense physically. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Khalil Mack staying with the Chargers. He restructured his deal. Oh, did he? Then that's just breaking now because it, it, that wasn't the case. But that's fine. That's fine. It, to me, it was a lot. It was more of a insurance policy uh, for trading sweat. It, it wasn't like necessarily. There's still other guys out there to get. You you can still do what I want to do. You don't need him. 500, if we get Justin Simmons, would it be intriguing to draft a wide receiver in the first? Would be a luxury, but having a young elite wide receiver three would be exciting. Like A.D. Mitchell, Bryant. It would be very interesting. That would give me like those old Minnesota Viking vibes when they had Randy Moss because he dropped. And then they had Chris Carter. Remember that? Um, so, yeah. I mean, phew. Listen, I, I'm always open to something outside the box like that. Yeah, I mean, I from what I've seen, I like Jeremiah Trotter Jr. I'm, I'm totally open to it. 
Mac Mac is staying with the Chargers. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Then call Chase Young up. Lene Ward Davis Super Jacob. Philly saw your live uh your live game. Chauncey back. If we get Simmons, we'll be great free agents. I seen White Man rerun. Yeah, it would be it would be fascinating. I think I think it very well could happen, to be honest with you. I think it could. We got 1,600 people here in the chat. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hit that like. Make sure you subscribe uh, if you haven't. And let's get. make sure we get to 1,000 likes. What are we at? We're at 771. We, we need to hit that 1,000 likes. Kendricks to the Eagles. I think Kendricks signed with the 49ers, to be honest with you. Who are the Eagles getting as we speak? Well, they just extended. They just extended Elliott. I think. I think the safety situation, and I also think the whole linebacker. I think the Eagles could go out and get a linebacker in a trade. If he's overt spamming, then time him out. Uh, spamming is is you know overt spamming just a spam. Is is definitely a, a a time out offense. He he loves Kenny Pickett, but he's been crying about Kenny Pickett, and the Steelers don't even like Kenny Pickett. That's why they brought Russell Wilson in because Kenny Pickett they don't believe in. Uh, Mark Holmes, I'm on the E believing in all this shit. I'm a grown ass man. Poor Mark. Mark's probably he's probably they're gonna be so happy when they if they sign AJ Dillon, he's gonna be so happy. And I think it's I think it's a like I think it's I think it's a pick where it doesn't make you any better. Uh, Philly, Jake Paul, and Mike Tyson are fighting next month. Who do you got? Also, who do you think Falcons are playoff? I mean, Mike Tyson. How old's Mike? Fifty something years old. I don't know. It always seems like that the, the the whole Logan Paul stuff, Jake Paul. It always seems like that. Uh, like I don't know. I always feel like the fix is in for them. I'll take Mike Tyson though. Mike hits him. Mike sixty years old. Mike has like. Two rounds in him, right? Like he, he's gonna get tired so quick. He's fighting. A, is he fifty-seven? I hope. I hope Mike knocks the, the hell out. I don't. I know nothing about him. I, uh, to be honest with you, I know nothing about him. Uh, will you sign Cam Newton? No. Bang bang! No Super Bowl ring. You talk about the Forty ers yeah. Yeah. Tyson looking for a bag. Tyson got everything to lose. What? What is? I mean. How much is he getting paid? Just time him out. Over spamming, just time him out. You guys know. My mods know when. If, 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 if you know, if somebody's just asking me a question and and they're doing it, you know, that's fine. If and, you know, unless it's like every two seconds, every two seconds, like boom, 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 time him out. Hey, Philly Mark said that Saquon signing is going to blow the Eagles. Why? 
What? Why would it blow up in the Eagles' face? Like, how, how come every time the Eagles make a move, it's going to backfire on the Eagles, right? But if the Cowboys make a mediocre signing, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Mark did a whole thing a few years ago where he railed on us for signing guys too old. You don't sign guys that old. You don't sign guys old. And he was right. But we did. And then Dallas the next year did the exact same thing. And he's like, these are the greatest moves ever. These are the best moves ever. And it was like they did the same thing you said that the Eagles were doing. Why is Barkley going to blow up in our face? Saquon Barkley's 26 years old. Saquon Barkley's a top three. Run. Saquon Barkley's impact is going to be as much as Christian McCaffrey's impact was to the Niners. He he is only hoping that it's going to blow up in his face. The question for Mark is going to be this. Why did your Cowboys not even go after Saquon Barkley when you needed a running back? You had a quarterback that can't win in the playoffs and needs help. Uh, why? Why did Dallas not go after him? Man, just, just time him out. If he's if he's spamming, time him out. Otherwise, just ignore him. The Niners don't look good with their changing of the uh, players and coaches. What do you mean? Are you talking about the defensive coordinator? That was kind of weird. Bold prediction: Saquon was offensive player of the year, just like Christian McCaffrey left. I I think it could happen. I think I've always wanted to see what Barkley would look like on a team with a good offense. I, I I mean you know it's funny because when remember when Barkley got hurt and then he came back from the injury and everybody's like Barkley's coming back he's got a monster year and I'm like you guys got to be patient with Barkley he's coming back from an injury that takes two years if not more to come back from he's not going to have a good year coming back from that injury it just takes time and nobody listened and they were going after him going after him what does he do the next year he has a monster year takes the giants to the playoffs now why did he have under a thousand yards last year he had under a thousand yards because they had no quarterback they had no offensive line they had no receivers they they had one of the worst offenses i've seen the giants ever have last year so for him to get even over 900 yards in with that offense is incredible Would you draft Robinson in the first round, a corner and linebacker in the second round? Yeah, I, 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 Chop Robinson, I'm all about Chop Robinson. AM Cheetahs says, Philly wasn't looking forward to this year, but until lately because of Howie killing it. Yeah, what Howie did, we needed that. Like, after that, after the way the season ended, you know, and how bad it was. We totally needed something to, to juice us up. He had under a thousand yards due to playing in only 14 games. He would have had 1,300 if he played the whole season. 14 games, so three game difference, right? Three. He missed three games. I mean, on a horrible field with no weapons. And we're talking about 1,300. Can you imagine what he's going to do with the Eagles? I think he legitimately could be a 2,000-yard total back, total yards back. Like, I could see him getting 1,500 yards on the ground and another 500 yards to the air. Like, I, I think he could get you 2,000 yards in a season. Uh, Astro World, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, I'm choosing Curl over Simmons because he's 24. Me too. Me too, my friend. I would love that move. Uh, Devin White's got a reputation of quitting. Yeah, that's what they say. It, 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 and, and that's not good. Maybe a change of scenery will help him, you know? 49ers need to pay per... No, they got... I think they got at least another... I think at least one more year. Where they, was he in his second year? So his third... I think, yeah, I think one more year. We need an old school linebacker like that, a thumper to put um, fear to the, anyone that comes in the middle of the field. Yeah, I agree. I just don't know who, who cause I don't know who's available. 
I don't I don't really think the free agency there was that many. Yo, Philly salary cap all depends on Travis Kelsey's relationship with Taylor Swift. You'll have to explain that one to me. Do you want Trotter's son as a linebacker? I, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I, I love the sentimental part of it. You know, that 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 is a great thing. But I, I want the best linebackers. But I, I think I would probably take two linebackers. Like, you have two second-round picks. You have, what, right now one-third? You're probably going to have two-thirds when you trade uh, Sweat. I would take a linebacker in a second, a linebacker in a third, and then sign one significant linebacker in free agency. That's what I would do. So why not take, like, Cooper and Trotter Jr.? Philly, would you trade a third for Fields if he agreed 10 minutes to per, No. I'm not giving up a third for him. What did what did Dallas give up for Trey Lance? That's what I'm willing to give up. How often do I eat spaghetti or pasta? I'm eating some right now. At least a couple times a week. It's in my blood. As long as Nick Sirianni stays out of the way, we should be good. I know, right? Let me see if there's any, we got any updates of anything going on. It feels quiet right now, but I feel like something's going to gonna happen. It'll probably happen like, like after my stream's over. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't see anything talking about. Um, I'm looking for stuff on Khalil Mack too, because people were saying that he re he redid his deal. We are ten minutes away from the start of the new year. Let me see here. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Adam Schefter's report, eight-time Pro Bowl defensive end, former defensive player of the year, Khalil Mack, will remain a Los Angeles Charger this season. Frees up salary cap for the term for the team by agreeing to restructure his deal. Uh, Mike William leaves, Mack stays. So Khalil Mack is, is gone. So what about Chase Young? You guys you guys with me on Chase Young? Do we take a chance? That's what I'm saying. Get worthy. Worthy with the speed for sure. They're talking about the Cowboys. The Cowboys want to reduce the cap number on Dak Prescott's contract. 59 and a half. All you have to do is restructure. You save 20 million. I'm getting impatient. There has been no talk of anything since the LEX digit. Come on, how we make us nuts? I know, right? We're like we're like Jones, and, and it's been like 45 minutes. And Dallas, they haven't even made one move in free agency. Get what for the Chiefs do? You'd have to you you think you think Worthy's a first round pick? Hell no, on Chase Young, man. See, I, I just think, I just look at Chase Young, I go, my God, he's talented. He's got so much upside. And if he's being paid as a third pass rusher on your team, and you're not paying him that much money on one year, I don't know, why not take a chance? So would you be happy if we kept Swap? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't necessarily want. I don't want to get rid of Reddick, and I'm no. I have no interest in trading Sweat. Like to me, Sweat is 25 years old. Showed he could get double digit sacks. Yeah, he had an off year, but I think he could bounce back. I. I don't see why we need to trade him. I. I don't. I've never seen the Eagles trade a young pass rusher like that before. So to me. 
yeah, if they could keep him, and now you have Huff, I mean, you're good to go. If, if you kept Sweat, you would have Reddick Sweat, Huff, Nolan Smith come along. You still have a guy like Brandon Graham. I mean, I think your pass rushers are set, not to mention what you're going to get out Jalen Carter. Uh, yeah, but but they're not going to. Like, like, from what I'm hearing, Sweat is gone. It's just a matter of where. Philly, do we get Devin White? What's going on? I know I heard uh, Texans got linebacker. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about the Eagles' interest in Devin White. But I think at 26 years old, the guy's played well before. Maybe a change of scenery will do him good. Why not get him? Paul says, I want Young so bad. I just don't see – I don't see that. I don't see the downside. Like, he's going to be cheap. He's You're not relying on him. He's not like your number one guy. Why not? If I got if I got Chase Young, it'd give me some insurance with Huff. I still trade Sweat. And I have Reddick. And I have Nolan Smith. Yeah, I would do it. Worthy is another wide receiver who could run fast in a straight line, but who has hands and feet and has no hip movement. And people are going to learn John Ross ran fast and Henry Ruggs, Mike Walsh. So in fairness to Ruggs, though, in fairness to Ruggs, before Ruggs was stupid, uh, I mean, he was he was having a, a really, really good year. Like, he looked like he was developing. I think he was leading the league and like, catch average and stuff. But you're right about Ross. Uh, and you're right about Henry. That those are true. I'm watching the NFL Network, and they are saying the new league year starts. Yeah, starts uh, 4 p.m. I thought it was three. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was three. So it's in an hour. Simmons, 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 Simmons. Yeah, Patrick Sertan or Samuel Jr. Are you gonna? Be the Eagles by the end of the day. Holy crap. That would be crazy. Well, you would definitely not have a first round pick. You might not have a second round pick. You might still, you might lose one. You have two second round picks. So if you trade a first and a second, would a first, a second, and Josh Sweat get it done? That's the question. A one, two, and Sweat. One, two, Sweat, and Bradbury. That might get it done. Maybe that might get it done. What well, what can we get for sweat? A second rounder or a third or fourth round? Well, well, Brian Burns got traded for a second and a fifth. I think he's he's better pass rusher. So I would say I think maybe third rounder. I think you get a third rounder for sweat. Um, Cheetah says, thoughts on cornerback. Um, who should we go after? I I think we should draft a corner. I, I, unless you could get Sertan or Asante Samuel Jr. in a trade. I think I think you should I think you should uh I think you should go for a corner in the first round. Sweat for Sertan second. You it would cost a lot. Sent me a super chat. Did I just flat out miss it? Or did I just not get to it? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I missed it. Sorry about that. Hold on. Let me go over here. Uh, D Hart, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, Who's next, 500? White or Sertan? I'm going to say Justin Simmons is next. I'll say Simmons. I mean, I've, I missed a couple here. Um, Woolworth Davis, welcome to Dig Back Nation. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it. Um, Astro World, I'm choosing Sim uh, Curl Over Sims. Me too. I, I read that one. Uh, then I just read this. D Hart, thank you so much for Super Chat. I would say I think Justin Simmons is next. Thumbbell Davis, Super Chat. My man, he goes, Cowboys made one big sign so far. 
We have Cat Williams. Cat Williams was their only move. I love it. Let me see if I, ha I have to get that over here. I need, I'm getting like old man look. I have to hold it up like this. Let's see. Does Chase Young sounds like a good deal to me. I think I think it's a I think it's like a minor risk. I, I mean, it's not even. It's not even really a risk. Philly Fire, do you think they signed someone today? Yeah, I think so. I think I think it still sounds like they're interested in, in Justin Simmons. So I, I think something's gonna happen. I think what or who who knows? I didn't expect the, I didn't expect Devontae Parker, you know, yesterday. Imposter, imposter, what are we talking about here? What are you guys talking about? Oh, you're the best. Thing. Oh, you're too you're too nice. Thank you. Hold on. I wanna I wanna get this. I'm trying to get the Cowboys. Uh, latest information on their latest signing, so we could share that with you guys. Do you think we add another defensive tackle? With Kyle? I think we might add it. We we maybe add another defensive tackle. Oh, I don't think you need to. Like I, I, honestly, I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't feel like we need to. Like I like I like Williams I like Mo uh, jo Jomo I like that kid um, I think they're all right at defensive tackle I think you need I think where you need to add on the line is I think you need to add insurance policy to that pass rush just in case Huff doesn't play the way he played last year you need to have insurance if you're gonna tra trade uh, Josh Sweat that you know that that's kind of how I see it. I'm going to pull up the Dallas Cowboys' latest. Um, looks like the Cowboys finally have a move. I want to share it with you guys. Don't be surprised if they go with a young veteran like Cam Curl and Devin White and Chase Young to help linebacker. Well, that's what I want. I mean, I, will, I literally... I think Justin Simmons makes a lot of sense because of Fangio. But I said earlier in the stream, I would go Cameron Curl. I would go Cameron Curl, and then I would add a cornerback by drafting one in the first round. Now, my secondary is basically set for years to come. I got Gardner and Curl at safeties with Reed Blankenship uh, as my third safety. And I got Sidney Brown as my fourth safety. Then I have... Um, like my rookie corner that I drafted, I have Ringo that will take over for Slay. I'm set at, at secondary. It's young and ready to go. I I think it would be a great idea. Uh, Leon Banks, Davis Super Chat. He goes, "Are you confident McKee at quarterback too? He's just like for I'm not confident in all at all. No, I'm not. All right, so let me share with you guys and Davis Super Chat. Let me share with you guys. The Cowboys have made a move. They have finally made a move. Mark Holmes must be thrilled. Big move for the Dallas Cowboys. Breaking news. Breaking news. Cowboys make a big move. Let me share it with you. The Dallas Cowboys has signed Cat Williams at running back and special teams returner. Cat Williams comes to Dallas on a three-year deal paying him. 
$50 a game. That's it. Cat Williams is the newest Dallas Cowboy. How about that? Look at him run the 40. Congratulations, Mark Holmes. Congratulations, Dallas Cowboys. You deserve it. You definitely do. Two minutes to go. You got plenty of time. Come on. Oh, oh shit! Dad! Oh, no! Dad! It's over! Oh, it's shit. over! This game is over! Cut it off! It's over! Fuck. I, I Congratulations, said. Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! I said run the ball. Congratulations, man. Green Bay! Dad Prescott, you need to be fired today! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! I said run the ball. That was on Dad Prescott! Trying to feed the ball. Trying to feed the sea lamb! Trying to feed the sea lamb! You tried to feed the sea lamb! You got to give it to sea lamb! Trying to feed the sea lamb! You got to give it to sea lamb! God! It's over! It's over, Dad! Put Trey Lance in the game! Trey Lance can't do worse than you! I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I buy into this shit. I buy into this shit. Because here's the thing. I am a grown ass man. And I talk the talk. <sighs> it is killing me. Cut it off. It's over. I'm sorry. I, I I I had it on mute the whole time. I'm a moron. I'm I'm just so discombobulated by the Cowboys' amazing signing. And I just read that whole super chat. Sorry about that, Dame. Thank you for super chat. What I was saying, and nothing was coming out. Pause was. Uh, and you wrote, I'm just now tuning in. I'm not sure what you guys already discussed, but how would you feel about Isaiah Simmons signing? I was saying that um, I I think it's a low to no risk, high reward signing. I don't know what he's can do and can be at this point, but why not bring him in? It can't hurt. Uh, I, I'm totally open to it. Sorry that I was on mute like a moron, like a complete dingbat. But I apologize for my stupidity. Uh, I was so discombobulated with Dallas's amazing signing. I, so they're talking about Marquise Brown. Did he sign with the Chiefs? Peace all time. I missed the super chat. Let, let me go find it. Here you go, buddy. I'm sorry. I I I sorry. I missed it. Peace all time. Dave Super Chat goes. So happy for Elliot's deal. Deserves every dime. Absolutely. Absolutely, he does. He's, I mean, he's got to be, him and Justin Tuck are the two most clutch, clutch kickers there are. Yeah, the Chargers cut Mike Williams. Uh, don't want anything to do with him. Uh, too too many injuries with him. I, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Really, the only really thing, the only thing is the Eagles signed uh Jake Elliott to an extension. That was it, really. Uh, a lot of talk and stuff that, that they're still trying to get a linebacker one way or the other. And, uh, you know, there's, there's supposedly still interest in getting a safety, another safety. So we'll see. Mark falls out of the chair uh, down beach almost distressed. <laughs> 
Yeah, NFL Hollywood's still on the NFL has him on the market. Yeah, they have him on the market. I guess it didn't work out. Now they're talking about Jadavian Clowney. See, I I feel like Chase Young is is the younger version of Jadavian Clowney. And I used to say this all the time about Jadavian Clowney. Uh, bring him in for the Eagles as a, a you know as a rotational piece. He he's no no risk, high reward. I feel like the same thing with Chase Young. One of these days, Chase Young may may get, may hit his stride. And all of a sudden, he may become a 14, 15, 16 sack guy. He has that ability. He's had injuries and stuff. If he goes to the right team with the right coaching, it could happen. He's cheap. Go out, bring him in as a pass rusher to, to mix in our rotation. Yeah, Williams is tall. He is. I'm muted again. Okay, I'm not muted. Can't hear me. Yours sounds good, bro. Okay, do I sound good or do I not? Try, uh, try refreshing Jersey. Okay. Yeah, I should be good to go. They behind on the live. Yeah. Play Chase Young plays like he doesn't want to get hurt. Well, you know, but uh, maybe you might be right, but. But, you know, if he comes in on like a one-year deal and he has a chance and he's a third, he's your third rotation, right? You're, he's not going to be your starter. He, he's going to be like a, a rotational piece. I don't know. I, I don't see how it can hurt. I mean, some of the guys on our team last year played like they didn't want to play at all. Did the Eagles overpay C.J. Gordon Johnson? If the Eagles had a deal in 2023, would it be the same type? I think they overpaid. I, they overpaid because they could have done it last year, probably for similar, maybe a little less. That's true. But they're, they're $39 million under the cap right now. Saquon Barkley's going $3.9 million cap. Do we really care that these guys are getting over? Like, I don't care if they overpay them. I don't care if they get a few extra million. All I care about is that when we go into free agency, we go into draft, that we have cat room and we can make make moves. Every year we're in, we we have cat room. Even when we're forty nine million dollars over the cap, we somehow or always end up under the cap. And right now we're th like forty million dollars under the cap. Still, I'm not worried about that at all. I, I am so happy C.J. Gardner-Johnson is, is here. Like, you you need him. It's so funny because everybody is now saying what I was saying, that he gives you a swagger you just can't replace. Like, like that's what I was saying for the for weeks. And I, even during – what the hell happened, Kat? Even I was saying that during the season last year. Now people are, are recognizing it. Uh, Mark David Superchat, he goes, extend Dom five years, $50 million. In the yes, you got to extend Dom. I, you know, I don't know. We need an experienced middle linebacker. I don't know who's available. I mean, I guess you get White out there. Um, you could bring him in. I, I, I think, I think. There's a good chance that one of the trades we're going to see made is going to be the Eagles trading for a linebacker, uh, you know, on a team that has a guy that they want to get rid of in the last year of a deal, something like that. I think that may be a trade we have to make. You heard it? Yeah. That, well, they said that the Eagles are interested in fields. I, I don't know how true that is. C.J. Garner Johnson rubbed me the wrong way when he said he hates the people of Philly and called them names. I will never understand why he came back. Douchebag, in my opinion. I, I would just say get over it. <laughs> I mean, you know, people say things. People say things when they care. And he was frustrated by his contract and the fact that he wasn't going to come back. The fans were frustrated that he was leaving. I, I don't know. I, I, I let that thing stuff roll off me. Uh, he can't hate it that much because he came back.
Yeah, and and he did apologize. You're the best uh, cut. He goes, thank you, Harry. Thank you. When I say break up a girl, get the F out. Don't ever call. Don't ever contact me again. That that would be what I would say. Fortunately, I, I don't have to deal with that. Johnny Pace, they were super chat. He goes, CJ is so happy he's back for real. He was upset he wasn't in Philly last year. He just couldn't actually say it. You could tell by his post since yesterday. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think everybody had high emotions. And he 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 went off and he said stuff I'm sure he, he you know, he, he he regretted. But we we were also getting on his case too. I mean, let's not forget, you know, uh we we were his whole all his Twitter everything was getting destroyed with, you know, uh by Eagle fans for leaving. So, you know, you're selfish, you want money, you're you know, you're this, you're that. So, I mean, it happened. It's over now. He apologized, and, I, and I'm just glad he's back. Yeah, he was hurting too. I agree. Hey, Philly 500, if we could get Justin Fields' 42 fifth-round picks, we'd have him as a backup and win a team. What do you mean 42 fifth-round picks? <laughs> on an injury trade for him first. I don't know what they're going to get for him. It doesn't sound like much. I I have mixed feelings about bringing Justin Fields. I like the idea from a standpoint that maybe you could flip him and get value, like build him up, build his equity up, you know, and then trade him. But I worry that you're going to get the, you know, Jalen Hurts has a bad half or a bad a game ends bad. It's like, let's play this kid, let's play field. And then it's like, we're back to the whole Wentz hurt situation. I don't want that either. So I, I have mixed feelings about it. Crazy, but I'm still holding out hope for Sertan traded. You know what? I think it actually picked up steam. Daniel Jeremiah came out, said the Eagles were looking to trade a corner. And then there was a, some other port too. Um, so I actually think it's actually ga gained a little bit of, of, you know, maybe it's like gone from a 1% chance to like a 5% chance. So what about second and fifth for Fields and TJ Edwards? Hmm. I don't, I, I don't want to give up the second round pick there. I'd rather draft the linebackers, but I, I would do it for like a third. I like the idea of getting Edwards back because I feel like he shouldn't have gone. What trade is coming? Do we pick? I think that I think there's going to be, in my opinion, if they don't sign Devin White, I feel like the Eagles may trade for a linebacker. Who I don't know. You, we got to figure out what linebackers are on a team that is not going to want to resign them. Maybe they can't resign them, and they're in the last year of a rookie deal that are decent players. That's the kind of like move Howie Roseman likes to make. The Eagles acquired Nick Bosa for first. Nah. Love and learn, grow, move on. What's done is done. Happy to have Chauncey back. I agree. Hurts, AJ, Saquon, 36 million. Dak Prescott, 60 million. I know it's crazy, right? You think about it. Like, like Jalen Hurts, Saquon, uh, you know, uh, AJ Brown, Devontae, they all making like total combined like thirty six million against the cap, and then you got Prescott's like sixty million. That's what Howie did. He just I give Howie credit. I give uh, I give C J Gardner Johnson credit. They were able to to not let you know bridges be burned and come to an agreement. Chauncey Gardner was single-handedly the most missed player on our team last year. I really believe that. Even over Hargrave, we we needed him last year. He gives you he gives you stuff that we just don't have. And I love the CJ Gardner Johnson back. Like I love it. Anthony D. Davis Super Chat goes, how would you feel if your car got stolen after a game? I'll be pretty pissed off too. Yeah, I mean that's true. 
That's true. Uh, Dallas made no moves because Jerry is spending $50 million on his 900th, 9,000th birthday bash. Yeah, 9,000 is going to be a big year for him. Not only that, um, but he's going to have to pay for his kid's birthday too. Yeah, we extended Jake Elliott. That's true. Uh, four years. Jerome Baker would be a good pickup because he played he played in Fangio's system. But I think he's visiting the Titans today. So he's got to come out of that, you know. But I, I, I wouldn't mind. g says, Philly, did you talk to Mark Holmes about what Dallas didn't restructure Dak Prescott contract? Ask him last night. He made a few good points. Good clarification. Here's what he told me. I, I, I did text him it, and I'll read it what, what he said. Um, let me see. I'm looking for it. Um, I said, why hasn't Dallas restructured Dak's contract? And his answer was, I don't know what they are doing Maybe setting him up to blame and blowing up this year. He thinks they're trying to blame Dak so they can get rid of him. So they're not doing anything with his contract. So they, everybody will say, well, Dak is the reason uh, we're not getting any better. And then they can move on from him. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Not just kidding, but that would be amazing. That That would be nuts. Now, his brother, we'll see what happens to Bosa with the Chargers because he's not taking a, a – he's not he's not redoing his deal. Hulk, thank you for the super chat. JOK for the Browns on the last year. See, JOK is my guy. I try – I pushed for JOK so hard. I tried so much, so hard to get him. Like, I did videos like every other day. We got to – he got to draft JOK in a second. God, take JOK in a second. He turns out he, he's pretty good. I don't know if the Browns want to trade him, but if if they are open to it, I would do it. I would like us to sign another safety. Just Simmons, ideally, it's not Marcus May or Eddie Jackson. How about how about Cameron? Uh, oh, why is why is his name? Cameron Curl. I don't know why I just totally went blank for a second. I, I would take Cameron Curl over Simmons. Calvin Ridley got paid with the Patriots. Did he just sign with the Patriots? Wow. I would have stayed in Jacksonville. <laughs> uh, CJ Garner Johnson helped us win at least four games with his game ending interceptions back in 22. He did. And and I think I think he also brought like an energy, a swagger that that they didn't have. You know, uh, he was he was really good. Yeah, and that's the thing, man. He he, you know, Debo sit there talked all this stuff about us, did all that stuff. Uh, he bullied Debo. That that stuff never happens with C.J. Garner Johnson on this team. I love that he's back. They're talking about Simmons right now. See what the, he talking about him being a good fit with the Eagles. Justin Simmons is going to end up coming to the Eagles today. That that to me, I think, is the next move. Justin Simmons. Um, what do you guys think about Armstead, Eric Armstead? Would you would you acquire him? I mean, he he could be another one of those guys that that is an insurance policy, a third down guy. Not a third down guy, but, you know, third depth chart wise. TJ Edwards was missed last year and he was, he was cheap too. We did not miss Barnett. No, we did not. Unless you love penalties, we did not. Nicholas Davis, Super Chain goes, you should be look, should look up Kelsey's comment on the Saquon. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it, but I don't think he's coming out of retirement though, you know? I know you said under 30, but what about Kendall Flory? Three-year deal. He has looked good. Uh, veteran player in there. 
eh, I, I think there's other options. Like, I, I really like the idea of going, going, uh, go, go draft and get a corner, you know? Philly Mike Williams from the Chargers got released. You think he's a one year deal would be? No, I, I don't think it would fit. He's coming off injury. Um, I, I think we're okay. I want a little, I want a guy with speed in it. Like, they got Devontae Parker. And he's a veteran guy. I think he's a fourth, fourth wide receiver. But I want to find a guy in that slot that has speed. Like Hollywood Brown would have been like a fantastic move. You know, something like that. CJ going to bring a swagger back on Diva. He is. You know, I keep people keep talking about JOK, man. I keep thinking, oh, my gosh. If we could get him in a trade, I would love that. Browns only have a bit over 1 million cap space. I mean, maybe, maybe they want to, you know, something for him. They're not going to be able to pay him next year. Do it. I, I love, I love that kid, man. I tried, I pushed for him so hard. People were get so mad at me. He's too small. He'll never be any good because he's only like 220 pounds, but he's good. Uh, William Stark. Welcome to Dingbat Nation, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Dingbat Nation. They're laying it. David Super Chat. He goes, we're going to see Kelsey unretire. You see what he said? I did. I, I still don't know that that would make him come back. However, it's happened before. We've seen it with Brett Favre. We have seen it with, um, we saw it with Tom Brady. Guys retire and then they decide, nah, I don't, I'm not ready to. So we'll see. That would be awesome. I think he should. I mean, if it was up to me, he said, what do you think I should do? I'd say this. I'd say, unretire, come back, tell everybody this is your last year, no matter what happens, your final year, like Dr. J did when he said that he's going to have one year left and he's going to play one more year and he's going to retire. And then have your retirement season and tour and let's go. That's what I would tell him. Jordan Fuller or Cam Crow will be Packers soon. I wouldn't be surprised. The Packers have been active, man. And they, and they, I mean, they got, they, they're spending a lot of money on, uh, what's his face? Xavier McKinney. It's like $17 million a year. I think Justin Simmons is most likely to end up here. If I was making the move, I would go Cameron Curl. Uh, YouTube pump like Dave or Super Chay goes, rumors that Odell and Eagles are talking. Do you have a link to that? That would be interesting. See, I think if Odell Beckham wanted to just come in and be your slot receiver, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I would do that. I know he's a little older, but I think as a slot receiver, third receiver, yeah. Lene Ward, thank you for Super Chat. Because the Ravens reached out to try to trade for Debo. Like what? Like this year, you mean? That's interesting. But didn't didn't Debo get his extension? What what happened to Brandon Ayuk? Is Ayuk out there as a free agent or is he franchise? I'm looking to see if there's anything on 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 uh, Odell Beckham Jr. I I like I actually like that idea as, uh, of Odell as a third. I'm hoping for Simmons. We only need him for two years until Sidney Brown uh, is healthy, drafted, safety, second, third round. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a very fair way to look at it. I I can't I can't dispute the logic there. I I can't. I I don't think that's a bad um, way to look at it. You know, but it, it's definitely for a few years because he's not going to be ready till November. Uh, it, if they sign Justin Simmons. I have no problem with it, and primarily for that. But Cameron Crow, I think, is a player. I think I look at Cameron Crow and Johnson. I think that they would be like very complimentary. One's a ball hawk, one's a heat seeking missile. I don't see anything on uh Bart Odell Beckham, but boy, I would love that. See, that got me all like, yeah, I like that idea. 
No one Odell Beckham did he stay hurt? He he played healthy last year, wasn't he healthy? Lewis Davis super take AJ Brown second rounder for Justice Jefferson. Who says no? Like it's hard to to say no to that. I mean AJ, I, I think Justin Jefferson is the best receiver in football. But I'm not giving up a second round and paying him thirty million dollars. So I, I would have to say no to that. Thank you for super chat. They're like, David Super Chat, you think Jurgens gets hurt? He comes back. No. Why why would Jurgens get hurt? What do you mean? Do you mean injured wise? No. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I I I I'm not sure if you're asking me if Jurgens would get hurt if Kelsey gets comes back like his feelings. No, because he'd just go right back to right guard. No, we don't have linebackers yet, but I think linebackers are coming. I do. I just don't know if they're coming via free agency. Tyler Boyd, yeah, I like the idea of Tyler Boyd as a third receiver. Just question is how much are they willing to pay for a third receiver? Like, you know, I'm I'm totally okay with going like in the second round and taking a kid like McConkey and putting him in a slot. Jeremiah Daver Super Chat. He goes, I think they're trying to get another big receiver because Kellen Moore going to move Smith inside a lot this year. Uh, apparently, he's going to move all those guys. Like, they're all going to be moving all over the place. And they're going to use a lot of play action. And a lot of play action, a lot of rolling out, I, which I like the idea of, which makes sense with Saquon Barkley. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think Lad McConkey for a slot receiver, I think he'd be really good. I think he'd be really good. Uh, Pete says there was a lot of Tyler Boyd talk about and feel he, he would fit. Yeah, he would fit great. I, I like Tyler Boyd, especially as a third receiver. It's just It just becomes a, a thing of like how much is he going to cost. AJ and Smith compliment each other. I'm not giving him up. On Justin Jefferson. Well, I'm not either because you got to pay Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson wants $30 million. So then you have to pay Devontae Smith. No, no, I, I'm okay with what we got. 500, he said, so do you think Kelsey comes back if Jurgens gets hurt? Oh, if Jurgens, no, no, no. He's not coming back if, if he gets hurt. Jamal Adams, I don't, I don't want any part of Jamal Adams. I don't think he can play. I don't think he can cover. What about T. Higgins? If what if 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 the Eagles traded AJ Brown, I would I would go after Higgins. That's probably who I would have to go after to replace him. But I don't want to trade AJ Brown, so no T. Higgins. Xavier Howard, too old. I love yesterday. I love Monday. Me too. Bring back Julio Jones. See, I think the Julio Jones spot just went to Devontae Parker. Yeah, I would probably say Bobby Wagner, the truth, truth. Thing is, Bobby Wagner still could play. Like, if I knew Bobby Wagner could play like he played last year, I would sign him. I would sign him to a one-year deal. Raiders releasing Hunter Renfro. I guess that's official now. He's he is gone. He's another guy that that would be possibly a perfect slot receiver for the Eagles. Uh, he could be a perfect slot receiver for the Eagles. Brooks, thank you for the super chat. I want Patrick Sertan on our team one day. Listen, if the Eagles could pull off a trade for him, I would absolutely love it because it would it would still do what I want to have young secondary for years to come. Who do I want as a backup quarterback? Man, I haven't even thought about it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want fields. I, I almost feel like you you cause yourself 
problems. Mark Holmes by behind. Yeah, Cowboys are dumpster diving today. Dumpster diving with the Dallas Cowboys. GT Davis Super Chat. He goes, who gets better deal, CJ or Simmons? I think I think Simmons gets a well. Apparently, he wants a multi-year deal. I think Simmons is probably going to get a little more than than CJ. Maybe close or similar, but I think he's probably going to cost a little more. I want Simmons as icing on the cake. I I know a lot of people like Simmons. I like Cameron. I like Simmons. Don't get me wrong. If the Eagles sign Justin Simmons, I love the I love the move. I do. I just think for the long term, I I like the idea of Cameron Curl. Don't need to pay wide receiver three. The draft is low at wide receiver. I yeah. I mean that's true. I think second round wide receiver. That's what I would do. I got two second round picks. When you when you trade when you trade Sweat, you're probably going to have what three. Third or two third round picks. So I go corner first, corner edge first, wide receiver, linebacker, linebacker, offensive line. AJ Dillon interested in Giants, Colts, and Cowboys. I don't, I could care less. I think he's too slow. He's big, but he's slow. Now, if he goes with the Giants, Giants picked up what Singletary. So if you get that as a compliment, I think that's fine. Goes to Dallas, it's not going to help them. Yeah, Hunter Renfro would be a good fit. Hey, Philly, hypothetically, if Kelsey's coaching staff and the NFL rule that would prevent him from playing on the field few of injury. Yeah, because I think I I think eventually, I think in June, he's got to put his, they put the retirement where he retires. So it's not like they could just suit him up. He'd have to come out of retirement. He'd have to sign with the team and take up a roster spot. You'd have to go through all those things. You can't have a coach just say, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to go ahead and play. It's not like Pete Rose or something back in the day. 500, I'm happy with CJ, but the Eagles still have so much work to do on defense. Oh, yeah, they do, but we're just getting started. I mean, the new season hasn't even – the free agents – I mean, the regular season hasn't even began yet. Or not regular season, but the new se NFL season. That doesn't begin for another you know, half hour. There's plenty of time. The thing that you have to remember is, especially with linebacker, if the Eagles look at the linebackers and say there's nobody in free agency, we think that's – is that good? Then they're probably going to try to trade with somebody for a linebacker. So it may it may just take a little bit of time. But I think by the time the season starts, I think they will have made significant moves at linebacker. Eagles out on Simmons. Did what, what's going on with that? Is he asking for a ridiculous amount of money? Philly says, uh, all pro safety, Justin Simmons has four to six teams involved in his market. ML football includes the Eagles, Titans, and Steelers at the right price. See, he's going to cost he's going to cost you more than C.J. Gardner-Johnson. See, that's all right. I'm calling Cameron Curl. I'm bringing in a 24-year-old. But I do like the experience of Justin Simmons. You know, it's interesting because you guys got to remember, we heard the same thing yesterday with uh, – with C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Before I ended my stream, the first stream, they said uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson and Eagles, uh, you know, it uh, the the negotiations have broken off. They're, it, 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 they're both being stubborn. It's not going to work out. That's what we, were, we heard. And then a few hours later, they signed him. We just got to be patient. Uh, smoke lends me a favor, super chat. Oh, you're gonna make me say his name, Jeremiah Owuzu Koromoa, uh, linebacker. He was with. Um, he came out of Notre Dame. He was a second round pick for the Browns. He was somebody that I was 
like doing like a daily video on like the Eagles draft this guy, draft this guy in the second round if he's there. Um, undersized linebacker. He's only like 220 pounds. He's light, but he can. He's like a. He's like a. Um, he's like a Swiss Army knife. You could use him in so many different ways, and he's really good. He's good, and uh, he he would be he would be an interesting signing. Uh, the only thing is you'd have to add some size somewhere. If you bring him in 500 Elliot deserves every penny. He got paid uh, to glad to keep him around for years to come. He deserves it. He's usually the top two kicker in the NFL. Every bit a fan has. Oh no, I, I agree. I think I'm getting to the point where I, I think he's, I think he's on the same level as acres. And I thought the world of acres, but I, I think Elliot is on that level. Elliot is clutch. Look at that Buffalo game. I mean, it's pouring rain, cold, and he hit that field goal. I mean, those were that's a clutch kick, man. He is clutch. Uh, Jake Elliott, uh, yeah, deserves every penny. I don't. I wouldn't want. I think Jamal Adams would drive us nuts. Like, I think we would come to like. I think we would be so pissed off. Like, uh, he would be like, it would be bad because he stinks in pass coverage. He's not good in pass coverage. I think I don't think we would like him. Mal, thank you for super chat. Uh, ready to order my Barkley jersey? Let's go. I, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I got I my my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque came. I haven't opened it. We're going to do an unboxing on a cigar video. I'm going to do a cigar video on the unboxing and just to celebrate what we did free agency. I'm going to try to do it this weekend. I'm going to do a giveaway of a Saquon Bar Barkley jersey. Trade uh, for Jalen Phillips, Javon Holland for Sweat and a third. Is Phillips, Phillips a hurt? Is, is he hurt? Thank you, Nevada Maverick. Thank you. Devin White or Reiner would be awesome. I would do, I would probably do, I like, I mean, Bobby Wagner for one year can still play. He can absolutely still play. He would be an upgrade for one year. Devin White, 26, maybe the change of scenery. I, I would probably sign White to like a three-year deal. I think that white change of scenery would be perfect. But Wagner for one year, you know, I think he can still play. But he's old. Smoke lends me a David Super Chat. He goes, don't forget, we have Julian Aquara. Yeah, that's right. We got him from, from Detroit. Yeah, he, he apparently has upside too. Yeah, that's true. I forgot all about him. Silio saying five wins. Five wins in the first five weeks? Should just wait until draft day. For what? For what What position? Five, I'm going to say you can't keep stocking the team like this, but give Hurts all the credit when we win. Wait, wait. All, all I'm going to say is you can't keep stacking the team like this, but give Hurts all the credit when we win. I, I don't know. I mean, do you feel like I'm giving him all? Are you talking about me specifically or just in general? Like, I don't feel like Hertz gets all the credit when we win. I never, I've never felt that way about Hertz at all, you know? But I mean, that's just me. I, I, I don't think, I mean, I don't think we should. Dad says, grab Wagner and draft the linebackers. Lem Mitra. Yeah, I like it. I mean, Wagner on a one year deal, he, Wagner proved he could still play last year. Wagner on a one-year deal, and then you draft two linebackers with the second and third round pick. I'd be open to that. Yeah, JOK is a stud. If Howie does some trade for him, that would be insane. It would be. I just don't know that Cleveland would want to get rid of him. I think Wagner can still play, but he is old. He is old. There's no doubt about it. it you know, it goes against kind of what I want to do. But if you told me, if I knew for sure 
that in the second and the third round, I took two linebackers. I can live with it for one year. But, yeah, he is old. Now, now White, White lost his starting job. His numbers went way down. However, he's only 26 years old and maybe a change of scenery. You know, Jeremiah Trotter, remember, he got hurt. With, he was with us, went to Washington, got hurt. I played, played like after the injury there was horrible. Looked just totally shot, totally done. Came back to Philly, went and became a pro bowler again. Sometimes just need a change of scenery. So I say take a chance on White. That's probably what here's what here's my next two signings. All right, today, if it was me, Cameron Curl and Devin White. That would be my two signings I make. If it was up to me, bring both those guys in. And then and then I would look to see if I could get another offensive lineman right after that. Uh, I just read something that we were out of talks with Simmons. That wouldn't surprise me. I'm telling you, Cameron Curl is cheaper, and he's 24. Captain Dale, thank you for Super Chat, my man. He goes, hey, Philly, working while listening. Thank you. He goes, I work in Amazon's um, dock-looking van and delivering packages. I live in Lancaster area, Pennsylvania. So, oh, oh the Amish. Yeah, I used to watch the Amish Mafia. That was That was a great show. Yeah, I, I I've been to the area many times. Um, yeah, that's very cool, man. I appreciate you listening while you work. What up, PA? What up, Lancaster? It's Philly five hundred. What's happening? Would be shocked if we got Calvin Lee. I would be floored. I thought he just signed. With uh, did he just sign or something? Uh, J.C. Collins says, Joe, J.O.K. was definitely a draft crush. I was deployed with his aunt in Kuwait that year during the draft. Oh, my God. Were you, did you listen? Man, I, dude, I was just nonstop about J.O.K. Like, I was driving people nuts about it. I, it's funny if you were you were with his, deployed with his aunt in Kuwait. Well, if you were listening to me, I hope you, I hope she got to hear, because that's all I was talking about. J O K J O K J O K Joe. Every time I do Joe, he'd be like, "Oh God!" But I couldn't help it. And then we had that whole second round where he kept falling and falling and falling. And then we got up in the second round and we didn't take him. I would love to have him. I think we took Landon Dickerson. I think that was the same year. So I can't be mad, but I wanted J O K. Three five hundred. Who were you more sure about? The Eagles signing before free agent, Barkley or C.J. Garner Johnson? I would say I had a weird feeling about Barkley. Like, I just had the weird feeling. So, uh, gut instinctively, I would say Barkley. But I I talked more openly about it being C.J. Garner Johnson. I mean, those were my number top two moves I wanted. I had a weird, just a weird feeling. I had the same feeling when I said, I said Hassan Reddick two weeks before we got Reddick. I said we we're going to get Reddick. People thought I was crazy. Just had a gut feeling about Barkley. It's not about Devin White's play. It was his attitude. Yeah. Well, that I mean that you know, we can only do so much of that. I, that I don't know. I don't know enough about in terms of. I'm not in a locker room, and that may be a problem. But I, I if I could get him, I would. Listen, Devin White would be an instant upgrade, big time, at linebacker. You'd rather have Bob and Wagner uh, than White full-time for, like, one year, right? It'd be just it'd just be one year, you get White. I mean, you get Wagner. You, to me, you have to you, – you then have to draft linebackers early. Kelly Green Elite jersey is finally available. Oh yeah, finally. I got I got a couple of elite. I got Nolan Smith. I got white Kelly Green. Do you guys want to see a white Kelly Green? I'll show you guys a white Kelly Green when I get up. Swift and Wesson, thank you for super chat, my man. He's a congrats on the hundred K you earned it this year. 
is ours. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. I appreciate that. I I think Diggs is, yeah. Mal Daver Super Chat reports are Wagner is holding out for ten million a year. Well, to me, it's only one year deal. He, he I'm not giving Wagner more than a one year deal. So we wants one year, ten million. Can I do one year, ten million? Would uh, you know, seven million dollars, six million dollars signing bonus, something like that? That would be nothing for us. Eddie Jackson or just I would choose Justin Simmons over Eddie Jackson. I'm going to catch up here. I'm so far behind. Um, White Batman. Thank you for Super Chat. goes, Vegas and Chicago talking Justin Fields trade. Yeah, it would make sense. Vegas would make sense to me to send them. Like the Eagles, I don't know. But I could see that. I like Jerome Baker. I totally think that would be a good signing for the Eagles. But I think he's visiting Tennessee today, right? So we have to, he has to come out of that visit without signing. So are we out with Simmons? I don't know. I mean, that's what some people are saying in the chat. I haven't seen anything that tells me that. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find anything. No, no. I don't see anything really. I see nothing saying he's they're out. Calvin Ridley market has been very strong. I believe there were two worst race between Jordan Schultz said that the Calvin Ridley market is very strong and it's a two horse race between the Jaguars and the Patriots. If I was him, I would stay in Jacksonville. I see, um, let's see. No, I don't see anything on Justin Simmons being out. So if that's true, I don't know where it's coming from. Bobby, uh, member for 12 months, thank you so much for your support. He says, God bless everybody. Absolutely. And God bless you too, my friend. Derek Gunn, JP of Football and Death said that we were out on. Oh, okay. Well, if Derek Gunn, I believe Derek Gunn. So uh, that could be the case. Um, that's all right. I think I think Cameron Curl's the move. If we get Cameron Curl, dude, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna flip out because that that would be like that would be awesome. But I I like Just Simmons too. Yeah, I want Cam Curl over him too. Me too. I do. Yeah, let's go. Cam Curl. Have I think I just feel like him and Chelsea, uh, CJ Gardner Johnson would be two complementary pieces. Now you have four. You have four young safeties that are all decent, right? You have to me a, a ball hawk and CJ Gardner Johnson. You have Cameron Curl, who who I think could be a heat seeking missile. You have. Uh, you still have Reed Blankenship, and then you have you have uh, Sidney Brown. You have him, right? I mean, you're set. You know, you know what you could do. I mean, what you're saying, you could put CJ in the slot and let him play corner when you need to, because he's versatile like that. He is a ball hawk. And here's the thing with CJ Gardner Johnson: people forget he didn't play safety till he came played with us. That was his first year. Last year, which he missed a lot of games, was his second year. C.J. Gardner-Johnson hasn't even gotten to his peak or hit his ceiling as a safety. Uh, he's only going to get better. Yeah, if Sidney Brown's hurt, but he'll come back and there's no rush. He can develop over the next few years. You know, and then imagine this. Imagine if if you have those guys and then you get you – get, uh, you, you go in the first round. Let's say you get Quinion Mitchell, right? You draft him, draft Kool-Aid. You get one of those corners in the first round. You start him right away. Then you turn around 
And when Slay's ready to go, maybe plays one more year, Ringo comes right in, and he's your starter. Now you have Mitchell, Ringo, Johnson, um, Curl, Isaiah Rogers. You have backups with Reed Blankenship and uh, City Brown. You're not to mention you still have Eli Ricks. You have young, talented second. You'll have in two, three years. You'll have the best secondary in football. Best secondary in football. And then you'll have it for years to come. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to accomplish. Um, and that's why I would get Curl. Eddie Jackson, to me, he's too old, you know. Yeah, cool is foot fracture. All right, give me Mitchell. Quinion Mitchell. I, and I start him this year. See, I have such a good offense. I just start him. And I let him play. Damn back, almost a fifteen hundred likes. Hit that like. Are we are we really that much likes? Wow, thank you guys so much. I appreciate. It. We got sixteen hundred people in the chat. Thank you so much. They they signed CJ as a ball hawk. CJ's a ball hawk. He he's got a natural natural gift for turnovers. Uh, I I think sometimes I think you can't teach that. He just he just gets turnovers, you know. Bad dog. Oh wait, wait. Before I could sing it, I gotta put up Breaking Bad Dog. Bad dog is a bad dog. Cause he knows the Giants always stink. They trade Odell Beckham. They give the Eagles Saquon Barkley. They trade Daniel Jones. They stink. Thank you very much. Mitchell will be gone before he might be. He might have to trade up for Mitchell, which I'm totally okay with. I would go up and get him. I think he's a stud. Like, that's like if you ask me, who do I want right now? Him. Now, if you trade Reddick and Sweat, you have to go get yourself a pass rusher. You have to. But if you keep Reddick one more year, I think you can wait on that. I just love the idea of a secondary with all these young guys that aren't going nowhere. For a long time. Oh, man. Mark is streaming. Oh, he must be so sad. Let me see if he's streaming. We'll, we'll, we'll pull him up. Pause. What the hell is this? Yeah, Mark Holmes is streaming. He must be getting some confidence that they're going to sign somebody. Let's see. Oh, he looks sad. He looks sad. Poor Mark. He's sad. Let's let's get him up on here. Mark Holmes, Mark Holmes, where are you at? Let's see what Mark Holmes is crying about today. We'll, we'll we'll send him some pictures too. We'll piss him off. I'm going to share his stream. There we go. Okay. Six more. Yeah, Barkley. You know what? I got to tell you. The other thing that stresses me out is like all these moves aren't official, right? They're all just verbal agreements for the most part. 
Remember what happened with us with Frank Gore? Like, I'm afraid, like, what if Barkley backs out of the contract? Like, just get this official. Sean Davis, thank you for the super chat, my man. He goes, where do I get a dingbat shirt? I don't have a dingbat shirt right now. Uh, we're, I got to work on that. I got to get with my guy and, and work on some stuff for sure. Let's see what this, what this, this, this guy's talking about. June 2022. Until now, for a year and 10 months, Thank you, Sean he is Davis. the senior director of salary cap and players contracts. He Let's is answers directly to Stephen Jones. He is the guy who he is helping to manage the, the salary cap and the players contracts. So I'm before that announcement, he was starting in 2002, August 2002, he was a player personnel. So he still has that role along with senior director. That's so, where I know him so as player his personnel, job is Adam Pacific. To negotiate players' contract and manage the salary cap. John, so that's what, what he's been man. doing he goes, What's going on with since Trump, August uh, 2002? Trump first, the Dallas Cowboys season. What's going before to that? The Dallas Cowboys season. The before that, Cowboys from Morgan July 1999 to February 2002, his emotion. He was a football equipment it be, manager. It'll be the emotions, the season. The coaching Red assistant for quarterbacks stand. coach and assisted uh, Joe Ferguson for two oh, years God, find it. and David Lee for one year more and volunteered as the equipment. There it is. Managed. I found it. Mm. I found it. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that super chat. Um, congrats on 100,000 Philly. We need young lockdowns co corners to par with slaying coverage linebacker. I agree. I agree. I agree with you. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. Young is the key word. We want young guys. Well, hell yeah, them dingbat shirts, uh, ASAP. Yeah, I, I got to work on it. We will. As soon as this, uh, as soon as this calms down, the free agency, we'll we'll try to do that. What's he crying about? And this, my friend, is his LinkedIn page. So, who are they talking about? His education. You I don't know what he's talking about. He's a, is he Doxon's people now or something? What's he? What's he even talking about? So there's a chick that said Dax sexually assaulted her, and now she's pregnant with Jerry Jones' baby. Is, is that the same girl? <laughs> that figures. Barkley is home. One minute, Barkley is official. One minute. I just I just read it, my friend. I, I just read it. Here it was. I just read it, Armante. Thank you for Super Chat. Congrats on the 100K Philly. We need lock, young lockdown corner to pair with Slay and coverage linebacker. And I, I agree with you, man. And thank you so much for Super Chat. I, I'm sorry I missed it initially. Pa I apologize. Uh, I think the Eagles are going to sign Justice Simmons. We're we're hearing multiple different things that we're hearing that possibly could have broken off. Uh, I don't know, but um, I think something's going to happen. Yep, we talked about that earlier. Jake Elliott got a four-year extension. Uh, great move by the Eagles. Guy deserved it. 500 breaking news, Jerry Jones to sell the Cowgirls for $7.1 billion. He might as well at this point. Freddie D, thank you for the super chat. He goes, what if we trade Bradbury Sweat in a second for Patrick Sertan? I would I would do it in a second. I would do it in a in a heartbeat, in, in a nanosecond. I would I would do it so fast. I just don't think that that the Broncos would do that. All right, boom, is it official? Make it official, Eagles. I want the thing to come out. Barkley's an eagle. No, Denver wouldn't. Denver wants, you have to get a first round, you have to give up a first round pick for him. You, you would just have to.
official. Official. Make it official. They can't, he can't. He can't back out now. Must be rough to be a Cowboy fan this coming year. Oh, absolutely. I can't. I cannot believe they didn't restructure Dak's contract. Boom. Official. There we go, baby. There we go. It's official. Saquon is an eagle. That's my wife. She won't put herself on camera, though. Thank you. Thank you. Breaking news, Eagle fans asking silly questions? Never. YouTube Pump Life, thank you for super chat, my man. He goes, Philly, have you ever gone to Eagle? Have Phil, you have to go to Eagles game this year? I might. I might. I got to get back home. I might definitely do it. It's been a long time since I've been at Eagles game. Striker said, did you know I farted? Uh, no, I didn't know you farted, but I smelled something all the way from here. Are there any reports linking to Eagles of Camp Crow? I haven't seen. No, I haven't seen anything either. That's purely when I talk about Camp Crow. That's purely what I what I think they should do. It's purely my opinion. I haven't seen anything linking. I keep texting. He's ignoring me. Let's see what he's talking about now. Okay. So this was about three bad contracts that the Cowboys had. That He's still crying. He's crying. Why has a Cape Curl signed with any team yet? Because he's asking for too much money. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I, I just think there were so many safeties. And I and you had, you know, CJ Garner Johnson was on the board. Right now, it's like Justice Simmons is getting all the all the witch caught. Um I don't know exactly why. I don't know if there's something like if he's injured or if there's something or if he's asked. I don't know anything about that. I just think that he would be perfect. Oh, Mark is very depressed. They're, they're very depressed people over there. They're depressed. Uh, some trade ideas that I thought of. One, Josh Sweat and a pick 53 of the Cardinals for pick 352. Josh Sweat. Wait, wait. Josh Sweat and pick 53 to the Cardinals for pick 352. Why would the Eagles why would the Eagles do that? I don't understand. Josh Sweat to the Cardinals for pick 663. Josh Sweat pick 53 of the Titans for pick 38. I I mean why I, well, I don't understand. You, you must be leaving somebody out because why the Eagles want to go from pick 53 to pick 352. So, on a scale of one to 10, how happy would you be if we signed Devin White today? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Abigail says, Watch you from Jersey. My dog gave birth to two pups. A year before she was really um, let's by my cousin, which we no longer call family. We never threw she would have children do that. Oh my gosh. What what kind of dog? That's horrible. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that I hear that. I don't I don't mean, never heard anything like that before. Curl was a seventh round pick. He has ever he overperformed. He can't be asking for that much. Come on, how he get? Yeah, he can't be asking for a lot. I mean, maybe they don't like him. I, I don't know. It's it's my it's it's my thought process though. Who should you get for your next jersey? I would say the most safest jersey that you possibly could get to me is either Devontae Smith or Hurts. I think Saquon Barkley would be a very cool jersey though. The Eagles will have to draft a linebacker, try to get more out of Nicobe Dean and sign 
one Jerome Breaker, Devin White, Bobby Wagner, Eric Kendricks. Kendricks signed, I think, Cunningham, Tyler. It looks like it. I mean, I think we also can't we can't just ignore the possibility that the Eagles go out and make a trade off of you know uh, you know trade for a lot you know a linebacker with a team. They are shopping sweat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's that's crazy. We have weird members. Yeah, I, I I don't even pay attention to it. We out of talks with that's what they're saying. We're out of the talks with Simmons. Well, he must be asking for a ton of money, you know. Mark will start start to nash to rationalize that the free agent market would improve with the Cowboys. He will go into denial mode. Oh yeah, especially when the draft comes and they draft, then they're you know it takes one move. It takes one move for the delusion of the Cowboy fans to go to all-time high. A.J. Dillon, and believe me, all of a sudden, he's the best running back that has ever played. He's way better than Pollard ever was. He's way better than Barkley. And they'll start to tell you that he's as good as Barkley. Like, don't go insane. That's what they do. It's better that they just sign nobody and live in their misery. Because at one small signing, they lose their mind. We got 1,500 people in this mother hump, but thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It's awesome. It's awesome. Let me see here. I heard we might cut sweat if we can't get trade. Really, I I can't imagine that you cut sweat. I mean, if you if you cut them, then there has to be something really really wrong. Okay, I I can't imagine they would they would cut them. I don't even understand why they're trading them. To be honest with you. Told you no one's going to want to give up anything for sweat. Well, they're not. I mean, well, I don't know what people are expecting. I don't expect that much. I mean, maybe at the best, a third-round pick. That's a, at the best. But I'm not cutting him. He has knee issues. I am not cutting him. He, he is. If, if he has knee issues, then how you, you, you ain't going to be able to trade him anyways. So, um, you know, they're going to the – doctors are going to look at him and say his knees are shot. Now, Josh Sweat – is he's not going to, if he gets traded, um, it's not going to be for what Eagle fan. I don't know what people think we're going to get. I think maybe a third or a fourth anyways, but I wouldn't trade him. I'd keep him. The Cowgirls fans don't want Dak to be suspended. Suspended? Are they talking about him being suspended? Alex says, Philly, I keep you on while I'm working. You're like my ESPN news. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Lou says, how did you land on that chat? Just clicked it. I'm praying you land on mine. There you go. Funny how things work. There you go. Here we are. A couple of silver spoons. There you go. Uh, unspoken words that have all the trades become everything has become official. Yeah, they're they're breaking it now. With Saquon officially is an eagle. Uh, all those guys, it's all official now, man. Now, I don't want I don't want Adams. Yeah, Barkley is official. The team can now announce it. Now the question is, what's the next shoe to drop? Is it a safety? Uh, breaking Michael Thomas to officially be designate, designated a June 1st release by the Saints. Now, here's the question. You can designate it June 1st. I don't know this, but does he have to wait till June 1st to make a move? Or can he go and agree to terms like right now with a team and then just sign it June 1st? I, I don't know. Sweat will guess an early second or late first? Really? I mean, I, I can't imagine that. Brian Burns got them a second and a fifth. Montez Sweat got a second with similar production. Edges overvalued position. Oh, I would listen. 
if they could get a second round pick for Sweat, that would be enormous. That would give you three second round picks. To me, I'm going. I'm I'm taking two linebackers with two of those second round picks. If I don't use one of those and my first, like with three second round picks, why not either trade back, get multiple like thirds and fourths, or take one of those seconds and your first and shoot way up in the draft and get yourself a premier pass rusher. I'm going to at least I'm going at least another two hours at minimum. I, I gotta I gotta technically I gotta be back at work by uh three thirty my time six thirty so I gotta go back to work at six thirty I probably have to spend two hours more working and then I hope to come home. Look what happened to Trevor Brower Watson suspended Dak now, but but did Dak I mean what 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 wait. Now, Dak is suing this person for accusing him for false accusations, right? That's what people said. So what? why would he get suspended? She's not bringing anything on him, is she? It's, it's not a criminal. They're not criminally looking into him, are they? Ryan Ellis, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, does it hurt Cowboy fans knowing Jalen's from Texas? No. And here's why. 99.9% .9 of the Cowboy fans have never stepped foot in Texas. So I don't think they care. Eagles fans says, Eagles don't have to cut sweat because Huff can pass rush from the other side. He's got Lane and Malata in the scene against us. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why we... No, there, there's no cutting Josh Sweat. You don't cut Josh Sweat. You, you either trade him, okay, or you keep him. Listen, Josh Sweat can get you 10 sacks next year. Uh, a subscriber uh, made it for me. How cool is that? I love it. How, anyone knows they call member for the website? is now selling the merchants, but it says 00. I assume it's a place. Old. Yeah, I assume he's going to be 26. Is anybody 26 on our team? I assume he'll get his number. That's what they were saying in Mark Holmes' chat. They want him suspended. Well, that, that's crazy. Mark, Mark's going to lose his mind. You don't mess with Mark Holmes' Dak Prescott. Let me see what he's talking about. He looks really sad. He, he looks like he's about to have. Okay. People don't know. You know, we all know all of our offensive linemen by name, okay? People listen to the Cowboys. The Cowboys always have reporters there being America's Jesus. team. You're on TV more than Dude, any other team, whether you're Super winning or losing. Your channel, bro. The biggest cool games Simmons. being you, viewed on TV that. are always the Cowboys. The so, so Always. You know, Love them or hate them. The only problem with the Cowboys is you're you're not getting that Super Bowl ring. Only what is, and they would and you, you would make a name <laughs> for yourself. They want them there because the ratings will they'll uh, it'll set the new ratings by a long shot just by yeah, that's just how it works. So, okay, but so I'm over let, that. Let me, I'm let over address, that. Okay, so let, let me address uh, the allegations. Stuff in his chat Here's what we have as far as Dak Prescott up, goes, like, because like, see, and, the and problem is, is whatever, we are a soundbite in a or a headline. Because a lot of times, I'll do experiments where I will put something in the title and, the and I'll talk about something different in there just to see if people are actually watching the video. Because people will comment and say things that I know they haven't watched the video. What's up, Ez, man? So I'm seeing somebody saying Dak is accused of rape. Okay, well, here's what happened. Dak Prescott gets an extortion that basically says, you know, if you do not pay us a hundred million dollars, we're going to go out and make this story public. Now, I don't know if anything happened or not. Allegedly, uh, Levi McLaren, his attorney, said there was a consensual relationship there, and now they're being extorted. The, uh, Dak Prescott's people filed on Monday a lawsuit against this person for defamation. 
before they filed that, they went to the Just police department to, to report it. So this Find is reported to the police She's suing for last week. Million extortion tax if you are being gotcha. extorted and you think you did you something, I don't know that you're like going to the police words. to report you it where they are actually opening up an investigation. It. Now, the fan ended up having the accuser's God, attorneys on here, which I'm kind of surprised that you... I got to just, I just, I, I check back in like in a minute. I, I can't take it. He's explaining the whole thing. So he went to a bar and then Dak Prescott walked in. Glorious Dak Prescott. And he sat at a table and there was this girl and she looked at him and he looked at her. And then they talked and they went back to his room. They tried to make some babies, but the condom broke and he slipped one past the goalie, allegedly. And then he left, and then she went and talked to her friend, and her friend talked to her friend, and they said, let's extort Dak Prescott. And then Dak is like, just get to it. Tell me what the hell is going on. I don't need the whole story. Dak's getting extorted. That's all you have to tell me. Some chick's trying to extort him. All right, gotcha. He, you, you can't mess with Dak Prescott. Mark don't like it. I had to go out. I had to go out, get a haircut. I went to the gym. So I was, I was listening to it, and I didn't know exactly what Mark was talking. He's out. Did you hear? Great. Now I know he went and got a haircut. He could have said it just get a point. Yeah, just tell me what's going on. Dak's getting extorted. Okay. Now I know. It's funnier because you got a muted E. His hands gesturing. Uh, I, uh, what are you gonna do? We signed, we signed Carmen Curl and draft Edric Cooper. I would love that. Yeah, I like Edric Cooper. Ryan Ellis Davis Super Chat goes. I don't like that, but these me too. The hoes are crazy. It's all crazy, man. You know, I'm sure somebody's extorting. I mean, I, I, okay, I, I guess. But why? But what does that have to do with? The, 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 is that why he's not restructuring? What does that have to do with the Cowboys only making one signing? The Cowboys have only made one signing, and it was Cat Williams. Cat Williams. What? What is? What is? What is it? What are you talking about? Have to do with the Cowboys signing anybody? I don't understand. If I was rich girl around, I would have to sign consent for it before. I, like, listen, it's better just to find a girl and get married and not even mess with it because you can't. You can't. It's just too. You're risking everything by trying to have, go out and have. A one night stand or a good time or mess with you're 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 risking everything seriously. It's not worth it. Just go get married. That's the best way. I sent him pictures. He's ignoring it. They need a day for super takers. Jones spent all the cap money on Dak. So, well, and he's also had to take a, a fraternity, a paternity test, didn't he? Fraternity, paternity test. It's crazy. I what I want to know is I don't understand what how they're going into this whole thing. That's a legal matter. How how does that how does that affect the Dallas Cowboys? Not is that why Dak's not restructuring? Like. How you know they they really have nothing to talk about? Oh, he looks comfortable putting it out there, and so all of a sudden, people still He's today sure think that there's a tape it. out there. There was I no mean, tape. Explained it in four words, and so like, now yeah. that this attorney's out here saying that this, this, and this happened on 105 The Fan, you have given him credibility because now you are on a Dallas Cowboys sanctioned radio station. You know, basically slandering that person. Brad Wright, you're right. Guilty until proven innocent. And on the same day today, Jerry Jones's lawsuit was uh, was kicked out, was dismissed. His paternity suit. Oh, was that? I did. 
Boy, all, all the Cowboys got going for them is lawsuits. Ryan Ellis, David Zubertay, he goes, have girls sign NDAs, a consensual release form, right? Isn't that what Trump did? And now he's going to go, now Now they're charging him with a crime for that, right? Didn't he do that with, uh, I don't know the league's name. And it didn't work anyways. Like, they said Trump did that. Oh, the, I forget the girl's name. I don't know her name. But he, he he's getting charged with that in New York, I think. And that's what he did. You can't even do that. Just go find a wife. Just find a wife. Find a good wife. And then and don't worry about it. If you're a player, seriously, it's not worth it. Dominique Joe, thank you for the super chat. Paisan says, Reddick in the first for Parsons. What do you think? Done. Let's go. He's uh, so breaking news, breaking news. Jerry Jones lawsuit got thrown out. That's all the Cowboys can talk about. Sergio, thank you for super take. Send Mark Eagle pictures and let's see white Kelly Green jersey. All right. Let me let me send him some more. I'll send him a Kelly Green. All right. So we just send him these. I just send him this one. I'll send him that picture. Trump looks for another one to get sued. No, I'm just saying he's he's getting sued for the same thing. And, and he had an NDA signed. So my point is, it's not to talk about Trump. It's it's just to say that you can't even do that. Like, like if you're rich and you have all that money, you you just gotta, you just gotta, you're better off just finding a wife instead of messing around because people you never know who's coming after you. Ryan, they were super tight. Can't compare Trump to anyone else. Dems are nuts. You don't think that, um, you don't think that, so you think that's just specifically on him. That wouldn't happen to anybody else. Hmm, that, that may be true. He didn't do this, yeah. It's, it's crazy. No, I, that, I'm a tall Philly fan. That's that's a whole nother. That's a whole separate issue. I'm th- talking about something else. Um, dude, even your wife could be coming. <laughs> that's true. That's true. All right. So let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go make a phone call for work. I gotta check in. I'll be right back, and I'll bring the white Kelly green jersey. Um. So I'll be back in like like two minutes. Two minutes to go. You have plenty of time. Come on. Oh, oh shit! Dad! Oh, no! Dad. It's oh, over! Shit. It's over! This game is over! Cut it off! It's over! Fuck. That's, that's... Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! I said run the ball. Congratulations, man. Green Bay! Dad Prescott, you need to be fired today! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! I said run the ball. That was on Dad Prescott! Trying to feed the the lamb! You tried to feed the sea lamb! You got to give it to the sea lamb! God! It's over! It's over, Dad! Put Trey Lance in the game! Trey Lance can't do worse than you! I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I buy into this shit. I buy into this shit. Because here's the thing. I am a grown ass man. And I talk the talk. <sighs> it is killing me. Cut it off. It's over.
All right, sorry. Here we go. All right, so look. Check this out. Somebody sent me these. There's a white Kelly Green Hurts. This is what it could look like if the Eagles were to have a white Kelly Green. Then here's a A.J. Brown. Kelly Green. Alternate. Somebody sent me these. I think I think they look pretty damn cool. I think they would look awesome, something like that. Hurts. You got the you got the eagle. Yeah, I I could totally dig that. That would be awesome if they had something like that. Yeah, it's cool, right? Ryan L. Thank you for super chat. Goes Trump Twitter for vote your brain. F my. Okay, thank you, man. I I I don't want to get throttled. I always get throttled when I read those. So I try not to do it. Thank you for the super chat, though. Here's here's Brown. I love it. I think it would. I think a white jersey like that would be so cool. L. Campbell, thank you for the super chat. Please stick to sports. No more our talk. Everyone sounds uninformed. It's offensive. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. I'm not muted, am I? No, I'm not muted. Put Trey Lance in the game, right? I feel like I can't read your chat. It's all blur. What do you mean they're blurry? That's weird. Cowboy stream of consciousness, right? Uh, they should have uh, a Brazil colors alternate for home opener. I I don't know. I I hate that they're playing there. You know. Yeah, I think they should get white helmets too. I think they should go back to white helmets. Dak, that's on you. Let's see. Is he still talking about it? I'm sure that's still a joke over there, yacht parties. Oh, I'm Donald, you remember that? Really? You told me. Man, they're still talking about it. Yeah, they really got nothing over there. You hope the Bengals get Jefferson? How are the Bengals going to get Jefferson? They can't. They, they got T. Higgins. Favorite Mark Holmes moment, Philly? It's it, it probably it, it's the one where he fell out of the chair the, recently. Uh, it, that's the one. Ghost, thank you for the super chat. I said run the ball left in my head. Okay, coach. I like that. Yeah, he goes, I said run the ball. Like they heard you. <laughs> Thoughts on getting Payne Wilson. Say, I like him. I like him, but I just don't know how you're going to tell him apart. Like him and Goddard look exactly alike. If we get Justin Simmons, uh, do the white rerun for us. Oh, I will. Michael says, hey, Philly, I'm having a hard time joining. I hit the join button. It does nothing. Hmm. Are you on are you on mobile or are you on computer? Sometimes it's weird on mobiles. Uh that's what people have told me. But um yeah, it's weird. I had a white Cunningham jersey. I buried it with full honors and 21 gun salute last year due to the dry and rock. Yeah. I know it wears out. I like these though. Like I look at this and I go. This would be like if, if it was like this, but like a white helmet, right? Do I have a white helmet? I have a white helmet here. No. Well, it, like like a white helmet, like um. Well, I don't have a white helmet. But yeah, this would be this would be awesome, but especially with a white helmet. And then Kelly Green with the Kelly Green one. And then I would do a, a black and Kelly Green alternate. That would be so cool.
Yeah, Armstead got released. We're talking about the trade market to Frigerius Sneed. Oh, I, I keep oh the line. I think he's too small to play linebacker. I think he'd be too small. Multiple teams in areas, multiple teams uh, interested in Sneed. Philly, so I say trade sweat for a draft pick and restructure Reddick contract. That's what I would do. Save $11 million in cap space. That's what I would do. When are we on all code? I don't know if we're ever going to, you know? Jerseys have new word mark. Yeah, the jerseys have the new word mark. That's right. This this is a somebody sent me this as a gift. I like it. I like the white, white and green. It's cool. If a guy can oh god, I didn't even read it. I'm probably already demonetized as it is for mentioning certain names. I always they, they always get me on that. Let me see. Okay, cool. What did you miss? Nothing. It's been kind of quiet today. I was hoping the Eagles extended Jake Elliott. I was hoping we were going to do something more. At this point, if they don't do something, I'm not going to have a, even a, a, a night video. Watch the end of the stream on Justice Simmons get signed. I know. Well, you know, they did that yesterday. Uh, CJ Garner Johnson got, got signed when I came home. I went back to work and they're like, ah, it's dead. You can leave. And I'm like, all right. So I come home and they got, they, you know, they, they, we got uh, CJ Garner Johnson. I was like, oh man, I, I, I have to go live again. I can't, I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait uh, and just do a video. I waited all day for this. So it'll probably happen again. Yeah. Raiders released Renfro. You like the old jerseys from the seventies. Those are the ones that have the stripe, right? The stripe, or do they have the Liberty Bell on the side? That was a great video, by the way. Thank you. Eagles are out on Simmons per gun. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, you already spent some money. with which He probably wants a lot of money. I'm telling you, Cameron Curl would be the signing. That would be such a great signing. 24 years old, won't cost you as much money, and the kid is the kid's a baller. Dominique Joseph, can you elaborate on a Reddick and Parsons trade? Micah doesn't want to be in Dallas, and it's known both teams win in this trade. Well, I mean, I mean Parsons younger, Parsons would would cost a lot more. So you would have to, in theory, compensation wise, the Eagles would have to give up a lot more than just Reddick because of Reddick's age. But yeah, I mean, it's, they said before free agency started, they said Dallas was interested in Reddick anyways. I did a whole video on that. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, Parsons obviously wants to be an Eagle. He obviously bleeds green. Um, but you would have to give up a lot. I, I think it would cost you a lot. It would be Hassan Reddick and then some because Reddick's 30 years old. So, you know, I, I just don't – it's just not realistic that it would happen. You just pre-ordered a Barkley jersey? Let me go check these out. Are they um Oh my god. They... Barkley. Oh, I love that picture. Let me pull this up for you guys. Here, you know what? Let's just screen share it. Mark's just Mark's just rambling on about the Dak situation. Let's go to let me go to the Eagles.com. 
let's go see what the shirt would cost. I got to buy a couple of those jerseys, too. So check this out. When you go to the Eagles page. Oh, where is it? Agree to turn with Price Huff. Ah, what happened? Oh, I like this. Do they got the jerseys up yet? Look at to see if they have the jerseys. They got Barkley zero zero. So we, it, I need to see. I need a number first. As soon as we know Barkley's 26, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, that's awesome. They got they got the they got the Barkley jerseys on sale, but it's zero zero. Like, so I guess they haven't officially gave him his number yet. Waiting for confirmation on the numbers. Yeah, Miles Sanders was number 26. Yeah. Barkley was 26. So once I know Barkley is wearing number 26, I'll get it. CJ Gardner, John, somebody told me he wants he might wear three. So we'll see. I, I gotta see his number two. I'm getting a CJ Gardner Johnson and Barkley. Yeah, he's staying with 26. Awesome. I'm gonna do when I do a cigar video and we do the plaque, I'm gonna do we're gonna do a CJ. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a Saquon Barkley giveaway. John the Don, Dave Super Chat, my man. He goes, yo, 500, what do you think about the wide receiver from Oregon and the linebacker from North Carolina State? Um, what receiver are we talking about specifically? I, I, don't, I don't really know. Linebacker from North Carolina State, don't, I'm not sure yet. Who are we talking about? I, got, I, I still have to do a lot of research on my draft. Um, right now, the thing I've been focusing on the most has just been watching the corner. I've been looking at the corners. So, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for the super chat. Um, new to thank you for the super chat. My man goes, breaking news, Cowboys moving their training facility to the Red Brick House. Well, Cowboys had a big signing today. They Oh, that's not it. Here's the Cowboys sign. Cat Williams signed with the Cowboys. Your yeah, Armstead got released. Four is available, so is zero. For who? Three. Who's three? Who's three on the Eagles? Jameson Smith, my man, how are you? It was 500. My daughter was born into the world last night. Sierra Lily Smith. I love her 500. God bless, man. Thank you for all the prayers and support. Love Dingbat Nation, man. Shout out to you, man. That's right. Nolan Smith is number three. He can't wear three. Four is Elliot. Yeah, he's going to have to be 23 or zero. Uh, man, that's awesome, man. Shout out to you, man. I'm glad that everything good. Your wife good. Everything's good. Um, kids good. Good to hear, man. God bless. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, that's right, Nolan Smith. Smith. Nolan Smith. They changed the watermark on the jersey. Oh, they did. They did this year. Interesting. So, so Chauncey's going to be number twenty-three. Yeah, he'll be twenty-three, and. Uh, Barkley's 26. 
Nobody's 47, right? So what's his face could get his number. Huff could get his number. Who's 47? Do we have a 47? Yeah, Smith is three. I believe we're getting new jerseys at some point. I believe they're going to come. I, I believe that's going to be the big surprise this year. The Eagles get new uniforms. They retired McNabb's. Hertz is one. Slay is two. Smith is three. Elliott's four. McNabb's retired at five. Devontae Smith is six. Hassan Reddick is seven. Who is eight? I think Mariota was eight. I think that's available. Yeah, I I think Gardner probably goes back to 23. Oh, Brandon Smith is 47? Huh. The Eagles are in to sign uh, Devin White. I expect them to have it done by 315. Yeah, Mariota was eight. Noel Smith was three. Yeah, yeah, Smith was three. I forgot about Smith because we didn't see him enough last year. The real, what's going on, man? How are you? Let me see something here. Let's see here. Van Ginkle went to Minnesota. Huff is 47. Yeah, Huff is 47, but is there another? Is anybody else? Is anybody else 47 on a team? Who else would be 47? Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. Who said I missed the super chat? Who said I missed the super chat? What super chat did I miss? Oh, somebody thought said I missed the super chat. I can't find it though. Five hundred. Who will we sign next? I have no idea. I have no idea. Mora was forty-one. Yeah. Nick Gary was forty-seven. Yeah. Watermark, wordmark, yeah, wordmark. It's probably my fault. I always say watermark. That that's my fault. That's my fault. No, get out of here. No, no, hoodie. Don't tell me that. Is that true? Is that true? Van Ginkle signed in Minnesota. Man, I thought somebody said I missed a super chat, but I can't find I don't know whose it was. Somebody think I missed their super chat. Let me know who it was so I can check it out. Brian Weaver is a big Eagle fan. Okay. I haven't seen yeah, I haven't seen anything about Cameron Crow either. Like nothing. I, I haven't heard of a single thing. I messaged a dude on CJ Garner Johnson's team and he said he's going with three. Yeah, Nolan Smith is, is, is the only way he could go three. Nolan Smith have to change his number or give him that number. Sign Hunter, Sign Hunter Renfro. John the Don says, my bad. Well, what did you, what do you mean? What did you do? 
Are you talking to me? You talking to me? John the Don, you're good. I you bad about what? Dominic, welcome to Dig Back Nation, man. Thank you so much. Let me see here. Oh, you're the best, bro. Oh, you're too nice. Thank you. Maybe he's paying him. Yeah. What was Nolan Smith? Was Nolan Smith three in college too, right? I don't think Nolan's going to give him up. Fine. Thanks, Davey. Lonnie Taylor, thank you for Super Chat. Thanks for the Long Street 500 helps with, the, with Ramadan. Oh, no problem. I'm glad I could help. I'll, um, I'll be doing this again tomorrow, too. We appreciate your stream. I oh, appreciate you guys. Thank you. No, we didn't get Curl. Somebody said, I, I've been saying that I would like Curl over Simmons. But um, there hasn't been anything on it. And then there was a, somebody wrote in there that, that it's being reported we're in on him. But I, I, haven't, I haven't seen anything on it. Five hundred quiet day. They'll probably yeah. They'll do they'll do a big signing as soon as I get home and 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 get ready to chill out. Probably. Let's see, oh I I think I know who you're talking about. No, I don't know the linebacker. North Carolina State. Are you talking about Franklin for the receiver? Right. I just hit me. That's who you're talking about. You're talking about, um, what's his name? Franklin, Troy Franklin, right? I think that, I like what I see, if, th if that's who you're talking about. I just hit me. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Franklin, yeah, I like him. Nolan Smith was four in college. So if he's not getting four, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Like, dude, I just had a brain fart. I'm just sitting here thinking about it and going, wait. Yeah, that's it. That's who it was. Fra I don't know the linebacker. Franklin, I like, um, but I don't. I don't know much. I have to watch more of them. Obviously, I like what I've seen, but I haven't watched a lot of the receivers yet. I've been just all about the the, the corners. I just think they're going corner first round. But I'm sorry, I don't know why I I blanked out. You see, Jason keeps getting asked to return, and he's pissed at Howie. Yeah, I mean, he's not really pissed at how he's just, you know, joking around. Oh, Nolan's switching to zero. So Nolan wants to go to agent zero. He better he better get more than zero sacks. Zero, that'd be cool if Nolan went to zero. Then Gardner goes to three. Sign my name, CJ Gardner, A plus, A plus, plus, it's a flip, A plus, plus. Absolutely. Nathan, uh, welcome to Dingbat Nation. Thank you so much. Curl's market value is fourteen point four million a year. Type in, type in what CJ Gardner Johnson's market value is. I can't imagine Curl gets more money than CJ Gardner Johnson. Father, you have to do a reaction video to uh, you versus Derek Barnett rage compilation that's on you. I haven't seen it. There's a rage compilation of me and Derek Barnett? Get the hell out of here. I haven't seen it. Oh, I will definitely do that. Yeah. I'll definitely do that. Definitely grab a Nolan Smith. I have a Nolan Smith. Let, let, let me show you something. I'll show you guys something. Hold on. Let me go get it. It's two minutes to go. You have plenty of time. Come on. Oh, oh shit! Dad! Oh, no! Dad. It's oh, over! Shit. It's over! This game is over! Cut it off! It's over! Fuck! I, I Congratulations, said. Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! Congratulations, Green Bay! I said run the ball! Congratulations, man. Green Bay! Dad Prescott, you need to be fired today! Mm. That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! That was on you, Dad! I said run the ball. That was man. on Dad Prescott! 
All right, let me see this. Uh, Lewis Davis Strip Chat. He goes, Do you think Howie would pick JJ McCarthy if he wants wanting to pick at 53? I don't know. I, it, it, I don't know. I think, I think Howie Roseman is going to go. I think he's going to go receiver and linebacker. I think McConkey is going to be the second round pick. Here's my Kelly Greens. I've got, and thank you for Super Chat. I got, I got Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, and then Nolan Smith. If he changes a number, this jersey becomes worthless. I shouldn't have bought it. But those are, these are all the Kelly Green ones I've gotten. I haven't, I didn't wear them that much. I always wear my old ones because of lucky streaks. Oh, where was I? Um, Louis Davis, do you think how he goes J.J. McCarthy if he wants to pick 50? Thank you for Super Chat. I think I read this one already, right? I don't I don't think he's taking that uh, quarterback. But he better not. Better not. Keith Saunders, 500, what do you want Dingbat Nation to get you for your birthday? Nothing. Nothing. Just, just, just keep watching and I'm good. Otherwise, we're good. We do have Isaiah Rogers. Let me catch up here. I'm so behind. Uh, Ultra, Ultrago Vegeta. I don't know if I said the right. Sick ass jersey, man. Thank you. Those were my Kelly Green jerseys I got this year's. I got three Kelly Greens. Somebody sent me two alternates, which was like fan made. But yeah, these are these are my Kelly Greens of the current roster. And then I have a bunch of old players that I like. <sighs> Holy shit, 500. You already have 106,000 on your channel slant. Yeah, man. It's been it's been really good for me. I it slowed up a little bit after the season, but it, and then it picked up during the Kelsey when Kelsey retired, it Wish you success on the top. Thank you. Um, I get a jelly of the month club. Do not get me jelly of the month. I don't need anything with calories. Brandon says, I can see us drafting wide receiver three with one of our second round picks. I think we're going to draft like McConkey. Well, maybe not him, definitely, but I think we draft a receiver early um, in a second. Yeah, I have a I have a Kelly Green. No, no, I don't have a current Cunningham White. Not anymore. I I have to get a new one. I have a I have a Cunningham Green, but not White. Dirty D. Davis Super Chat goes. What's up, Philly Five Hundred? Pizzle Mike got his belt back, but we got Barkley. That's true. That's true. Jeremy Davis Super Chat goes. We got the same birthday, June second. Yeah, that's right. I think you've told me. Yeah, that's awesome. See that? We're birthday brothers. Twins. June 2nd. Father, I love your channel. I appreciate all you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. New word mark is like, the new word mark does not fit the current jerseys. That's why they got it. I, th I really think that big surprise coming. I believe it's going to be this all season. Maybe next all season. I believe that the Eagles are going to redo their jerseys, the main ones. I, I, I don't know if it'll be dramatically different, but I think it'll be updated with the new word mark. That's been my prediction for two years. Yeah, I don't want anything to do. I don't want anything to do with them. 
James 23, thank you for Super Chat. He goes, Niners released Eric Armstead. Wow, didn't see this coming. Still a great defensive line. Were so many releases of big names last year. Yeah, he he could be an interesting player to, to, to acquire. Opinions of Saquon Barkley signing, absolutely fantastic. Thought it was really, really smart, really good. And I think uh, I think a lot of people are missing um, – Missing the point and why the Eagles did it. But I, I love it. Uh, Xavier Leggett, he's DK Metcalf, AJ Brown 2.0. He's athletic freak and he ran a 4 4 3. How big is he? Five, what position do we draft with our first pick? I, I don't know for sure. I think it's going to be either edge rusher or cornerback. But I think right now, unless the Eagles trade both Reddick and um, Sweat, I think the Eagles should draft the corner because I think you could have those corners start right right away. Two twenty six, damn. He's two. I that's big, big dude. So you think we should get Chase Young? I think so. Yeah, I do. It's a, a, a third rush. I don't think we should overspend, but I think like a prove it deal. As a third pass rusher, yeah. Once we do think of the uh, Devontae, I honestly think that Devontae Parker signing was basically like a give me for the Eagles. It was like the Patriots are going to pay most of his salary. I think it. I think what it is is I think he's replacing what Julio Jones was on our team roster wise. I don't see him as a number three. I think the Eagles are going early wide receiver in the draft. Zach Bond was a is a linebacker was from the New Orleans Saints. So I think he was a third round pick for them. Um, really, he's supposed to be a special teams ace. Rather have Armstead than Young. Young takes plays off. I, I'll take I'll take a chance on Young. I'll take a chance on him because of his upside. Cooper DeJohn to me is like Kyle Hamilton was when he was coming out of Notre Dame. But everybody's sleeping on him. Guess you all didn't watch enough Iowa. I didn't watch Iowa games last year. I'm I'm not lying. I will watch it before the draft. I mean, once free agency slows up and we go into draft mode, I watch a, I watch a lot of games, a lot of games. So I will. He will. I I have a Philly reacts for my channel membership on him. That he'll be one of my first Philly reacts that I do. But I have I have to go watch. Game tape, not just highlights. So I got a lot of studying to do with him. Howie o isn't always great in the draft. I prefer that we did most of the work in free agency and trades. I prefer he hit the draft so we could not have to go spend money, but he's fantastic in the free agency, you know. I like Jeremiah Tribe Jr. Uh, people sleeping on Tanner McKee as a solid backup. Maybe. I mean, maybe. What would your reaction be if we picked up Odell Beckham Jr. as a as a as a slot receiver? I think he would be a stud. Come here. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Want to say hello? Say hi. Hi. What's going on, dude? Hmm. Go play. Is it true Cowboys move? To, yeah, to the red brick house. What's going on with Mark? Is he still crying over the blues over there? They just look miserable. He looks miserable over there. Let's see what let's see what they're talking about over there. Eh, wrong one. This morning, I, I had, you know, I, I heard that yesterday when we were live streaming that he, you know, the attorney was on the. Phone oh my god, they're like, still talking about stay. it. I can't do it. They're still talking about the law thing. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. They're, they're still talking about it. What did Kelsey say? Washington has eighty-six million cap. But they aren't signing anything according to a Facebook page. 
They've made a bunch of signings. Uh, Michael uh, says, uh, "What did Jason Kelsey say about Barkley?" He was saying that uh, he said that 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 you know he wishes they would have signed him last year or something like that. Dan Howie, of course, you signed Saquon Barkley, and he also said Barkley has never played with an offensive line like this. Yeah, he kind of wants to play. Um, he he kind of wishes he could play this year. You know, maybe he comes back. Who knows? Finally, you kind of look like Eddie Munster. <laughs> that is no wrong. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. Eddie Munster. I look like Denzel Washington. Stop. Just watch Dallas Cowboys free agency recap. I'm seeing, oh, yeah, let me. Here you go. Cowboys recap. Here's what the Cowboys done today. Breaking news. Cat Williams has been signed. Ran his 40. Cowboys had to sign him as a running back. That's the Cowboys' latest move. Y'all need to stop sleeping on Chase Young. Y'all forget he's... I think I think it would be like low risk reward for... Low, ri- low risk, high reward. Why not take a chance on him? As a third down... Or not third down, but as a third pass rusher, like rotating in, I would do it. It would not surprise me that in a couple years, he's not getting 15 sacks a year. It wouldn't surprise me. You think Kelsey comes back? You wonder. You got to wonder. If I was Kelsey, I would come back. I'm not him, but I would. I would say, you know what? I'm coming back one more year, but this is my final year. But it's going to be my final farewell tour. Green Hollywood Brown, but and Sim, Reality Simmons and White. Yeah, I would love it. Yeah, I like Cat Williams. I said he went to Dallas. Yeah, me too. Manuel Davis Super Chat. He goes, Trades White, Gainwell, keep Reddick. I'm I'm good with that. Jamal Adams is a linebacker thoughts. He, I mean, he's physical. Uh he'd be a little bit under. Eh. I, I mean, you could do it, but I wouldn't do it. I would, I would, I would just focus on getting myself a linebacker that I know can play the linebacker position. I don't want to have to worry and depend everything on switching him over. I don't think it's impossible he could do it, though. Jeremy Davis, super chat. He goes, "Who's getting Barkley jersey?" Not only am I getting a Barkley jersey, I'm giving one away. Uh, Knight Rider, thank you for the super chat. He goes, 500, check out James Williams from Miami U. I will do. I will be getting CJ Garner Johnson, Kelly Green for sure. Yeah, that's going to be a badass jersey. I love it. I, I can't wait. White was a great linebacker, and we got rid of him. Kaiser White, you mean? Uh, I thought he started really good. I thought he faded during the year. I thought TJ Edwards was the bigger loss. Like I still don't understand why we let we let him go. That I don't get. Road Rager said Isaiah Simmons is a free agent. Yeah, he's a free agent. I take Wagner one year uh one year deal and draft a Cooper and I I could live with that. If if you took if I knew you were going to draft linebackers early and you'd want to bring him in for one year, I would live with it. But if you get white, you're getting a guy that's only 26. You think Gaza comes back after all this? Also, I don't know. I, I, I want to say yes, but I don't know. It's it's hard hard to know. I don't I don't want to I don't want to say yes or speak for somebody else about their retirement. You know, I, I don't know. So these are all coming out. The Eagles agree to terms. Max Rudolph, Mason Rudolph signs a one-year deal with the Titans. I'm looking to see if there's anything on the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles will feature the new word mark. Look at this. Look at this. So you see the new word mark? Okay, well, you can't see that. So there's the jersey with the new word mark. That word mark. 
That word mark does not fit that jersey. It does not fit the fonts on those numbers. It doesn't work. They are going to upgrade this. They are getting ready to change these jerseys. I, I'm convinced that that word mark does not fit does not fit the font of those numbers. It just is off. It looks off. They're going to change the jerseys. I truly believe it. It don't fit the jersey. It don't fit it. It, it, it would fit the Kelly Green jerseys much better. But, but the you know, it's like squared font word, word mark, and then the numbers are rounded. I think, I think the Eagles are going to upgrade those jerseys. Yeah, Jarvis Landry's out there, yeah. I live in Philly, and I can't stand some of the people, so I get it. Order under the bridge. Yeah, I, yeah, I get I, I, way I see it. Just get over it. It, it. He's here, whatever. We had our moment, and that's it. We move forward. Jersey Joe says, we need new uniforms. It's been since 99. Went to dark green. Time to refresh. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I think half of the fan base would love it. Half wouldn't. I'm not saying they're going to go full Kelly Green. I think it'll, Kelly Green will be an alternate, but I think I think they're they're going to refresh those jerseys. If it was me, I'd go green with the green helmet home games. Then I would introduce the old white jerseys back, old white jerseys, white helmet. I mean, then I would go uh, black and Kelly Green alternate. I like to see the white and silver stripe with the green on the back. Yes. Yes. Here's my here's an old mock-up of a old Kelly Green. I don't know if you guys saw this from earlier. Something like that would look great. With white helmet. We just signed so by who? Is his name? So got a name that I like. Last name Curl. Now we're talking. Yeah. Since Kelly Green is our alternate, I believe they will bring Kelly Green back this season. I'm expecting it to be back this season. I'm expecting two Kelly Green games and one uh, black jersey game. Remember, we could have done three Kelly Greens games, but they did they did the black jersey uh on Christmas. 4123 the podcast, my man. Shout out to you. He goes, how you feel about the uh, feeling after moves? I feel great. I'm just ready for another one. But right now, I feel uh absolutely great about what the Eagles have done. A plus plus, my man, in, in my opinion. Philadelphia Eagles put out the PSA. We do not know official numbers. They don't know the numbers yet. Need signed back with the Chiefs. Did they sign him for real? And if they signed him, is that a sign and trade? Breaking the Ravens are releasing all pro wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Let's see here. That new word mark is totally telling me that they're getting new jerseys. I am more convinced after seeing that word mark on that jersey, I'm more convinced than ever they're refreshing those jerseys. We had a Harry Nutsack. <laughs> they called James and called me Eddie Munster. It's so wrong, but it's probably true. I don't cave and care. I'm going to tell my wife tonight, you thought you married Denzel Washington, but you married Eddie Munster instead. That's hilarious. No Eagle Free Agent sign yet? No. Jack Rabadi said the Eagles tampered with Barkley. Oh, yeah? Then Chicago tampered with DeAndre Swift. What are they going to do? Take a draft pick away from us? What are they going to take? Uh, I mean, look at what they did with the Cardinals. They didn't do anything. That word, Mark. Tough. 
Titans. So Calvin Ridley to Tennessee. How about that? Hey, Philly, do you think if I called the pro shop, they would customize my throwback jersey with the Kelly Green or black with Kelly Green? I don't know if they would. I would assume that the pro shop wouldn't. Um, But, I mean, you might have to go somewhere else. I don't think the pro shop would do that. Four-year, $92 million. Wow, that's a big deal for Titans. He was supposed to be down to Jacksonville or New England. Whoa. Yeah, Henry signed with the Ravens. Maybe you should get off every time we I know. Well, right, I'm well, I'm to go back to work. I have to go back to work in an hour. So as soon as I go back to work, they're gonna sign they're gonna sign Justin Simmons. You watch. I don't want Jimmy G. I don't want anything to do with him. Who? Five, what do you think of A no prober at I, I don't know. A no, uh, it sounds like you got me on something. No prober, a no prober, a no prober. I got it. I got it. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a really good one. Oh, you got me on that one. Shit, you got me on that one. I'm like, I never heard of a no prober. Who was that? What round? But he he spelled that one. He did that one perfect because I had to, I had to say it out loud. That's funny. Philly Cali's mom, what's going on? I already ordered my Barkley patch from Amazon. Put over my Sanders jersey. I did the name. Oh, that was a good idea. I did the same for Carson and AJ Drift. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. I don't have a Miles Sanders jersey, but that's a good idea. Who's our our second running back is um uh, is um <laughs> anal prober uh, man that was a good one uh Gainwell right now is what round round two anal prober man that was a good one. I thought me rare as a good combo oh my god here we go. You also could take a Matt Barkley jersey and put the name over him. Who does anybody does anybody own a a a, 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 a a a Matt Barkley jersey? I I just think people it's like out of sight, out of mind. You know, he we didn't see him last year, so people kind of forget or don't realize how they're going to use him. Yeah, Calvin really just went to the Titans. If you have a you had a cool I would never you bought a Queen cool Detmer jersey? That's funny. Saquon's gonna be the giant destroyer. Yeah, he is. Man, nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, Eagles. Let's sign somebody. Penny's a free agent.
Ridley got four years, $92 million, $50 million guaranteed. Jeez. They paid him. Justin Simmons, it, from the latest reports on Simmons is that he wants too much. The Eagles are out on it. So it sounds like the Eagles are out on Simmons because he wants too much money. Now, to me, I'm going to go sign Cameron Curl. If you're willing to go and negotiate and bring in Simmons, then go get Cameron Curl instead. No, I don't think he's been officially reinstated yet. Eric Ted, no. <laughs> Ryan says, I can't wait to hear. Oh, great. Gainwell is in the backfield. Why the hell is Gainwell in on third down when we have Bork? Yeah, that better not happen. He's a three down back. He better be in, you know, on third down. That's crazy, right? David says, hey, Philly, awesome. Last few days, great coverage. Looks like the zero double zeros on the new players' jerseys are placeholders for pre-order. They will ship with the numbers or players. Yeah, that's what I figure. And I figure Barkley's going to be 26. I don't know. I don't know what about C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Um, I, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I just think that the new word mark that's on the jersey is just so off. Of the regular jerseys. I think they're getting ready to refresh these jerseys. But they're going to go ahead and sell it like that. And make a lot of money. And then they'll announce like in June or July. Our new up, uh, refreshed jerseys. And it's going to be like. Everybody's going to have to go out and buy a bunch of new jerseys again. Fabio Damer super chat my man. He goes Eric Kendricks or Malik Willis. I like Malik Willis. Kendricks went to. Uh. He, I think he went to the 49ers. What's up, Rock the Artist? Rayshon Jenkins, the safety signs with Seattle. Twins, what's going on? He goes, Mark said he just ended his stream. He had the Titans sign another player and was done. Well, I tried to put him all he talked about was the, the court thing. I was like, I don't want to hear about that. You know, then it turns into politics, and then it's like people are offended, and it's like, I don't even want to talk about it anyways. Jose, what's going on? 500, would you keep Gainwell or go for a running back compliment Barkley? I'll keep Gainwell. He's on. He's already on my roster. I'll keep Gainwell. But I think you should draft a running back. I, I say get a complimentary running back piece, you know, late in the draft. Not late, but like maybe fourth, fifth round. Hey, 500, it seems like everyone forgot about Isaiah. They did. It's because he wasn't with the roster. People just forget that we have him. They'll, they'll remember him, believe me, when he comes back this year. You didn't, you're here now. Welcome. You didn't miss much. It's kind of quiet today. Fizzy says, CJ is in a safety. That will shut down opposing tight ends. What he is is a playmaker, which is what the Eagles were missing. Well, he, he's, a, he's a playmaker that comes with – he's a ball hawk. And, and he, he has a nose for the ball, nose for making plays. Like you said, he's a playmaker. He's got a lot of swagger. Okay? He carries himself, and, and the team feeds off that. And, and you just – to me, you can't te teach his natural ball hawk skills. Now, he's not the best tackler. He might not cover corners good. He's, you know, he, he he used to be he's a converted corner to safety. So he's only going to get better. He's still learning the position. Um, but you know, you're right. You're you're not wrong. That's why you need another safety. Manuel Davis super chat. He goes, What about Jeremy Chin? You want him at a point? I yeah, I like Jeremy Chin. He went to Washington though. Washington signed him. Yeah, Devin White is still available. Get right to the podcast. He's available. I haven't heard, like, I haven't heard any names connected with the Eagles today at all. Except for Justin Simmons. That was the only one. Now they're saying that, that the negotiations, that he wants too much money. I will say this. When I left yesterday after my stream, 
And I, I left when I, when I came home, they signed CJ Garner Johnson. But when I left, they were saying negotiations have broken off. So you never know. Demi said 500. I'm a huge Cowboys fan, but best of luck because you guys really do have a super team. Thank you so much. I know it's probably hard for you guys right now. I, I get it. Yeah, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., Michael Thomas, perfect. I think Odell Beckham as a three would be really good, to be honest with you. Jersey Joseph, man, today I've been here the whole live. I appreciate that. We still have 1,400 people here, and I appreciate it so much. You guys, you guys are awesome. I, I hate the fact that I got like to, to go back to work after this. That's the thing that sucks. The Eagles have about $39 million in cap space left. We have a ton of cap space. Uh, Barkley counts $3.39 million against our cap this year. We have a lot of cap space left. Carmen Curl. Cameron Curl. I would do that. I'm telling you, I, I I haven't seen any connections to Curl by the Eagles, but I would do it. I think he's 24. I think him and C.J. Gardner-Johnson, good complementary together, and you get really young. But I don't know the Eagles will do it. We oh, Simmons looking for... Sim is looking for a multi-year deal, and it said the Eagles, it, it was too much money. He probably wants, like, close to Xavier McKinney, one, and he's too old. Yeah, so after Jake's extension, it's like $40 million in cap space. We have a ton. Dave says, 500, did we treat Slay harshly last season? I feel bad for his wife, Jen. She's been great for the community. Well, what did they do to his wife? I mean, I think, I think, I think he he said some stuff that obviously was going to annoy fans. I don't know. I I don't I don't think it was too harsh. But you know, I what, what do I know? I don't I don't know everything that was said. I just think that uh, you know, when you say you don't want to tackle and things like that, risk in, like that's going to piss people off. Uh, Eagles, 36.2 million. A.J. Brown, Saquon Barkley, Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts. That's right. That's their cap number. Cap combined number for Brown, Saquon, Devontae, and Jalen Hurts is 36.2 million. Dak Prescott, 59.4 million by himself. Sneed, yes, yeah, Sneed is franchise tag. You have to basically trade for him, then you have to sign him. Boom, is a trade finally acquiring Fred Warner from yeah. 49ers aren't gonna give you Fred Warner. <laughs> That's a nice try, though. That would never happen. They they would be crazy. So more homes looks like he's living in a house. He's, he's depressed. He's depressed right now. I see reports that he wants between 11 and 13 million a year, honestly. And multiple years. That's the thing. He's older now. I, I, I think he's asking for too much. I, I I say, I say go for go for curl, man. That would be better. Javon, how, the say are you talking about the safety from Miami? Right? Is that Miami? Um, 
I didn't. Is, is he even available? Uh, is, is he even a free agent? Uh, Nathaniel, 500 safety. I'm all about it. Kyle, they were super takers. I heard rumors about the Eagles being interested in <laughs> MLB Juicy Ham. Lost Shadow, what's going on? I was out in Sills when he said Jimmy G was a better option for the Eagles than Jalen. Really? Like, even now? No, how you have to pay, for, you have to trade for him? They're talking about the safety market right now on NFL Network. Let's see if they bring up Curl. Rachel Jenkins. See if they talk about curl. No, talk about Calvin Ridley. No, haven't officially signed Gardner John. We will. We will. Up. That's the one I'm not worried about. The one that scared me was the Saquon. So CJ Gardner Johnson could put foot. Yeah, I hope so. Did all all the stuff that you that you see coming out now that's official. Is is because they couldn't they couldn't become official until today. We need to draft a sleeper wide receiver like Puka. Yeah, that would be nice. Why haven't we see, uh, officially announced CJ Gardner Johnson? He might maybe he didn't sign it yet. I don't know. They could be doing. It could be sometimes. Like the first day is the the first day of signing, so you know it's just a day behind. I I don't know. I'm I'm I have no idea, but I I wouldn't worry. But I don't think there's an issue. Kyle Davis Super Chat goes Saquon Redemption Year over two thousand all purpose yards. I love it. I think so. I think he could get two thousand all purpose yards. I think he could easily get fourteen hundred yards on the ground. 1500 and another 500 yards receiving. I think that's very possible. Julio Jones, free agent. Eagle signed tight head lemon porte two years. There you go. How rich is the draft of the wall? I think there's some really good wide receivers. GT Davis Super Chat, my man. He goes, Philly, have you ever tried to get a player on with you? I would love to see you get Hollis Thompson. Yeah, I, I thought about it. You know, I could do it, you know, but um I just have it's just not something I haven't done. I I mean I thought a little bit about it. But I haven't put a lot of thought into it. I mean, it's something I'm maybe open to in the in the future, maybe. Uh, you know, at the same time, it's not a big deal for me. But, you know, maybe. If, if, Hollis Thomas would be fun to have on, yeah. Gordon Oliver, they were super chat. Have Dak watch the Untouchables where De Niro had the bat and said, take one for the team. <laughs> Poor Dallas. Five hundred. You have a legit the clout now to do player. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I've never tried. You know, never tried. Uh, 
Michael Thomas would be huge. I would rather, I'd rather sign Odell over him. Colton B, thank you for super chat, my man. Goes 500. Um, you got me through a whole drive from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas to New Mexico. Appreciate you, Go Birds. You are the new Philly media. Thank you, Colton B. I'm glad I can help, man. I'm glad I can help. This is what we do, man. I would love to do this every day. Like, you know, if I could do this full time, do this every day. Come stream and then like an evening video it would be awesome. No linebacker signing yet. No. Philly players know who you are. Reach out to Hollis, dude. Maybe. Maybe something. You know, I don't want to get to a point where that's all I'm doing. And I, and I don't want to feel like, I, I you know, I like people and then I can't. I, I, like, I want to be able to talk and ask them what I want to ask them. I know that they're always worried about. What can be asked? What can't be asked? You know those kind of things. It, I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. We need to make Philly a full time. Ego. There you go. How will we know you? Yeah. Hey, listen. I think Howie's been listening to me this all season. This all season, and when the AJ Brown trade, definitely. I said Eagles should hire Philly five hundred next. Make the first Eagles news up. There you go. There you go. Quinion Mitchell, I think that kid's going to be a player. I think he's a player. Big D, my man, what's up? Because make sure you hit that like button for your host, 500, a.k.a. the GOAT. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Hunter Renfro is 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 just got cut. He just got released. So, yeah, he, he's available. Did we get Justin Fields? Nothing. Nothing I seen. I'm a, I just checked Twitter and everything to see if anything happened. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't see anything yet. No, 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 nothing. Kind of so. so <laughs> is, that, is that who they sign? Jeez. 500, I think how he's done. Market is dry and left too pricey. I, I don't think he's done. I don't think he's at all done. But I do think, though, when it comes to positions like linebacker, like it wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't like the free agents available and he's going to look to make a trade or something like that. You know, they're up to something. Howie's up to something. He's still trying to trade Josh Sweat. He's still, I think, possibly trying to trade for a linebacker. 500, would you sign Jacob Sports if given a chance? Would I sign with Jacob Sports? Um, it, it depends what you mean. Like, if they said, we want you to come on and do, like, an hour show every day, I don't know. Uh, maybe I would do that, but I wouldn't do anything. I would do nothing to give up my channel. Like, 
Like, there's no way I would give the rights up to my channel, uh, put my channel under an un, you know somebody's umbrella, anything like that. I'm not doing. Uh, you know, I do too. I do better by myself than I do at any of those companies. Uh, you know, I'll never go. I'll never go under you know some umbrella of of some station or something. Never. I do it by myself. You know, Dave, you might be compared if you do player interviews. Best kept the channel raw and unfiltered. Yeah, and that, and that's and that's I do worry about that because you know a lot of times they only go, you know, they could go to certain stations. You go here at certain things, things like that. I don't want, I don't want to be favoring anything like that. I want to be my unfiltered raw opinion of how I I feel about things. No, I don't need, oh, I don't need them. No, no. You ever thought about starting a podcast? I mean, I, I guess I think this is kind of like a podcast. I thought about doing podcasts by myself, but about conspiracy theories. Not about sports, but like conspiracy theories. If you make a video saying you don't believe in those conspiracy theories... Maybe they would raise your CPM. They would. It would. <laughs> I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt about it. It would. But but I, I you know, I just don't talk about it on here. Eduardo, thank you for the super chat, my man. 3500, you got me through a whole drive from New Mexico to Oklahoma yesterday. Holy crap. And Oklahoma to New Mexico today. Whoa. P.S. My wife said to change your blue wall to a green wall so now you're a fan she's now your fan oh okay my wife said to change your blue wall to a green wall she's now your i appreciate that thank you yeah i know what you're talking about the blue wall my wife will kill me but i i appreciate it tell tell your wife thank you and i'm glad i could get you through so you missed my last comment about signing with the commanders what was it? What was it again? Yeah, for the people, by the people. Uncensored. That's what I like, you know? It's a visual podcast, obviously. I mean, look at this face. Denzel Washington in the house. You think Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter are going to have a breakout? I do. I do. I still believe in Jordan Davis. Dude, don't you think they look alike? I think they look alike. Who's, there is no rumored player to be traded to us. We're rumored to be trading Josh Sweat, but nobody to us that I've heard. Wow, Wagner went to the Commanders? Interesting. I don't understand what the Commanders are doing, to be honest with you. They go breaking news. They're probably going to say Wagner to the Commanders, right? There you go. Bobby Wagner signs with the Commanders. Wow. Bobby Wagner signs a one-year contract worth eight and a half million with the Commanders. Six million guaranteed. Wow. GT, thank you for the super chat. He goes, Would you move to Bucks County if you ever move back to Philly? If I move back to the area, I don't know. Maybe. I I I might. I, I don't know where I would go. I would, I might go to South Jersey. It's just the taxes are so high there. Lene Ward, thank you for super chat. Wagner side with the Commanders. Yeah, I'm seeing that now. It's crazy. The Eagles could have signed them. They didn't want them. Obviously, they didn't want them. Splendor said 500. I find it funny the comedy can make all these moves and still aren't threatening. They're not threatening. What I don't understand is like, well, I mean, I guess they're, are they going to get a quarterback? I still think they need a quarterback. Philly 5,000, what's up? 
He says, uh, what do you think about a hairy penis in the third round? <laughs> Definitely uh, worth a third rounder. You just moved back from South Jersey, Hawaii. Wow. That's a hell of a move. Not right now. Aliens had it in tell shops, the world trainer. I mean, I can't read that. I'm going to get demonetized. Did Cow no, yeah, Cowboys have made one signing. Uh, uh, let me show you the Cowboys signing. Cowboys, they signed Cat Williams today. Cat Williams is a ne their next running back. Cat Williams, welcome to the Dallas Cowboys. I, the Cowboys, they're not even talking football. They're talking about court cases and civil suits and, 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 and lawsuits and all sorts of craziness. I remember when Josh from Sports Fury and you talked about conspiracy. Yeah, that was fun. It's gotten progressively harder and harder to talk about that stuff on YouTube, though. My favorite would be, I like Gnocchi. That's my favorite. But um, in terms of just possible, like, I like Penny. Give me Penny Pasta. I like, I like Penny. That's, like, probably my favorite. Getting Denver a first and sweat exchange for, I mean, I would do it, but I don't think the Eagle, I don't think Denver would do it. I think they would want more. CJ posted on his Instagram story and said, "Remain humble." Uh, he just got paid, so uh, he's just remaining humble. Ark of Davis Super Chat goes, how, crazy how Titans traded A.J. Brown two years ago because $100 million, four years, was too rich, but signed Ridley for 92 for four years today. I know, right? They should have just kept A.J. Brown. They would have been better off. Thank God they didn't. Thank God they didn't. You think Fangio will make them hit and tackle uh, more in preseason? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think they've got to change their preseason and off, you know, their, you know, their, their preseason and their little OTAs. They did nothing OTA wise last year, and then preseason they didn't play at all. They got to do something. It's Lulu Davis Super Chat. New middle linebacker hit the market. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are crazy with these names. Cott Williams, solid pickup for them. Absolutely. They got Baker Mayfield on NFL Network. Man, you guys are funny with these names. What's up, kitty? Come on. You want to say hi? Want to say hi? Say hello. What's up? Hmm? What's up? Somebody want a cat? Needs a home. We're trying to find you a home. As soon as I leave, they're going to sign somebody. As soon as I leave. 500, when are you having a shakedown? will be Saturday. <laughs> you guys with the names are crazy. Eagles are going to sign somebody. Something big will happen as soon as I leave. I mean, it's been so quiet. I don't even... Mother humper. I don't even think I need to do a recap video. There's nothing to recap. Like, I, I'm not even going to do a recap video. How much, 500? I got two cats left. These cats are so close together. They're so close. I don't want to split them up. I, I don't want to do it. You know, because usually my kitten, usually I, I got rid of all the kittens by now. 
but I it just haven't found the right homes for these. So if somebody, I, I basically, I, I might give them away to the right person for free, two of them, if they'll take care of both. But, you know, they have to be near me. I just want those two cats to stay together. I told my wife to let the neighborhood know because um, I rather, they're, they're so close, I just can't. I, I can't break on. Usually I've gotten rid of the cats by now. For whatever reason, they haven't found the right homes and they're getting bigger. So anybody that wants two kittens and two cats, which a lot of people are like, oh, two cats are too much. But two cats actually are easier sometimes because they take they, they kind of take care of each other. I don't want a cat to be alone by itself. Send them Uber to Washington Township. If I lived near you, I would. But I'm too far. Like, I keep getting people from the Bronx. I don't know why the Bronx and Brooklyn, they keep texting me. And I'm like, no, I'm not. They're like, can you meet halfway? I'm like, no, I'm not meeting halfway across the country. You know? I work for a chemical company that sells pests, that sells chemicals to pest control, to licensed pest control companies. Once again, we're going to look. For, we're going to overlook a linebacker and sign a bunch of one-year deals. I hope not, Bang Bang Bird Gang. I'm hoping that they just haven't found the right guy. Like, I, I'm hoping that they're going to make a trade for one. You know? Do I breed cats? Uh, not, not purposely. Not purposely. It's not really meant to be purpose. We did the first. We did one litter on purpose. Then. We said, all right, everybody wanted, all these people wanted us to do it again because they wanted kitten. So we did it again. Then the third time, it was a total disaster. Or not a disaster, but it was an accident. And then, you know, now I got all these people that want the next litter. So I probably will do one more. Do you see Odell Beckham or Soy Comer? I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it. I think he would be great as a third. Mama, Mama Cat is over there. She's sleeping by the window. Uh, Grugier Hill, I don't know. I, I, Blake, I think too old. Stay away. Stay away from them. How do you know the Eagles won't? I don't know for certain. Don't know for certain. I've seen this before last year, honestly. We all good on paper. Then the game time fall apart. Hopefully these coaches pull through. Gets going. I love to see blue. Yeah, well, you know what? Everybody, a lot of teams feel good this time of year, right? You feel good. You look great on paper. And then you get to the season. Things happen. Yeah, it, it happens. Five hundred. Dak Prescott has filed a lawsuit. A <laughs> For somebody that Mark was talking about it all day. Yep, Wagner to the Commanders. Well, well, my position in knee rankings, number one right now, in my opinion, is you need linebackers. You need position one, position two, linebackers. You, I think you need two linebackers still. Okay, I still, I still think you need another safety. I still think you need another corner. Uh, I think you're going to possibly need a, an edge rusher because you might sell, you might trade Josh Sweat. I think you need insurance, and then um, I think uh, I think you need a third wide receiver. No, Justin Simmons didn't get signed yet. He's asking for a lot of money. How do you feel about De Devin White? Like I I don't know what's up with Devin White. I don't think he's as good. Like, he's not as good as he was a few years ago, but he's still young and he's still better than anything we have. So I would not be opposed to it. But I do believe that the Eagles are going to get a linebacker. I just don't know if it's going to be a free agency. I could see the Eagles trading for a linebacker. Like I said, look, find linebackers on teams that might want to get rid of guys in the last year of a deal that they don't want to pay. That's the kind of guy Howie Roseman will strike. 
With Howie Go, JOK, or Greenlaw, a.k.a. Big Dobbs on the trade for his lineman and his final year. I don't think there's any way the Niners would give Greenlaw. Uh, JOK, I would do it in a second. I mean, if you've been with me for years, you know how, how much I push for the Eagles to get him. I think Washington's getting a lot, filling a lot of, you know, a lot of nice signings and stuff like that. I still don't see them as a threat. You know, who's their quarterback? Philly, I think you should have Eagles players and personnel on your live screens. I mean, maybe it's something I'm not opposed to it in the future, but you got to be careful, though, you know, because I don't want it to be where I feel like I can't say certain things now or I'll piss them off or anger. Like, I need to be able to say what I want to say. Yeah, I've been happy trying to make babies. To say, why do we need a safety when we got Reed Blankenship, Sidney Brown, which is a star to become a star? Because I don't, I don't necessarily know that that he's a star in the making. Um, and I think Reed Blankenship, to me, is not. I don't know that. I don't know that I see him as a like a, a long term starter. I see him as a really good depth piece, a rotational guy. I still think you could upgrade that position. Am I gonna? I don't know if I'm going to move back to PA. I'm going to move back east, but I don't know about PA. Yeah, no, that's all right. We don't need him. What if the Eagles get A.J. Dillon or replace Penny? I don't, I don't want him. We don't need Dillon. We, we don't need Dillon now. Dillon would have been interesting if you kept DeAndre Swift. But you don't, you don't need Dillon. So here's an idea. Randy Gregor still available. Could come in and play outside linebacker defenseman. Uh, I mean, you never know, but eh. I promise you I will not move to Mexico or Alaska. Can you hear me now? There you go. Sorry, my AirPods died. I gotta, I gotta get the other one set up. Can you hear me? Hear me now? Yeah, hear me now. Okay. Sorry about that. Who's your five hundred buy? All buys aside, who's your favorite player on the Cowboys? Um. It would have to be Michael Par Yeah, it would be Parsons. If I'm being honest, it would be Parsons. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby Wagner's a commander. I'm from Morristown, New Jersey, where all the players live. We had yeah, Randall Teo, Fran Mitchell growing up, Jim McMahon. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Devontae go expect Rid Ridley Cash, and I don't see how. Oh, it's happening. I, I can tell you right now, there's no chance. There's no chance the Eagles don't sign Devontae Smith long term. Devontae Smith is not going anywhere. They will sign him, even, even if it means they have to move on from A.J. Brown. Devontae Smith will be an Eagle long term. No, I get, I'm getting ready to go back to work um, in about. Five minutes. I'm about to sign off and go back to work. I got to go back to work. If I if I get back by three fifty, if I get there by three fifty, I might be able to get out by five thirty tonight. 
But I know the Eagles are going to sign somebody as soon as I leave. This is what they do. Those of Von Bell being released by the Panthers Eagles. Too old. Too old. I don't, I don't, I want, I want a younger player. If the Eagles, if the Eagles make another signing, like if they sign, you know, a, if they make a significant signing, I will. Yeah. I'll probably just stream it again like I did yesterday because I feel like when you stream all day and you get nothing, it's like, I don't want to come home and then have to edit for two hours. Trade for Buddha. I want, I say get camera curl. Breaking news, the Cowboys have the shot of better free agents. They haven't done anything. Your streams are the best. Thank you, my man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Howie's watching and waiting until you go. Howie's watching. I have no idea. I have no doubt. They're gonna they're gonna sign Cameron Curl or Justin Simmons as soon as I leave. You watch. But that's all right. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. And if and and if they do something, I'll I'll probably come back and stream or do a recap video. But if they don't do anything, I probably won't be on till tomorrow when I stream again. And then I'm going to do a cigar video this week. At some point, we're going to do an opening for the plaque. And we're going to do a Barkley giveaway jersey. And then we'll do, um, we'll smoke a stogie. Curl may want more than what? I don't think Curl is asking what, what Justin Simmons is asking for. Why hasn't CJ signed officially yet? He might he might just not be um, been able to get back in time to. I mean, he only he only came to, to agreement last night, so you know I don't know where he's at or schedule or anything like that. He he only agreed to terms last he, to, he, last night. He CJ Carter Johnson is fine. We're good. John says, just talk to Ray Dittinger. Oh, yeah, that's cool. He said that was the best move, Barkley for the birds. I agree. I think it was a great move. You can't hear me? Let me see. Yeah, I'm coming in loud and clear. I'm clear on this end. I lived in Violin Joe for a bit, always used to visit City Hall. Violin, okay. Audio is fine. Quandale Dingle, number two. Saquon is going to be a beast, best running back we had since McCoy. Absolutely, without question. Yeah, I don't believe you, Nathaniel. I don't believe it. Prisons gave breaking new 500 new Jer news. Jerry Jones spotted in the Bahamas with only two and a half million in cat fees. I know it's so funny. I you gotta love what's going on with the Cowboys. They are so depressed. They spent an hour and a half on Mark Stream talking about legal battles. That's hilarious. South Jersey says 500. We can hear you. Awesome. Yeah, Fletcher retired. I know it sucks. I was hoping that him and Kelsey would come back. One more year. Who, who who knew? You know? What are you going to do? All right. They're going to give us the latest news. Nothing new. Nothing new. Think Patriots need maybe. Meow says, what are your top? I think um, for me right now, I want corner, def another pass rusher, uh, corner linebacker, pass rusher, and wide receiver. Those will be my four. All right, Philly, going to dip. You best, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. 
All right, guys, I'm going to dip, too, because it's 3 o'clock. For me, it's 6 o'clock for you. That means I got to get ready. I got to go back to work now. I would have taken it out, but I got to go back to work. So, um, yeah, if something happens later, I'll, I'll put a video out or do a live stream. If nothing happens, you'll see me tomorrow. But I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me, joining me. I was really hoping something would happen. I will once again be streaming again tomorrow. So look for that. I thank everybody for joining me. Uh, it was a lot of fun today. I had a blast as always. And uh, it should be, it should be, you know, it should be interesting to see what they do. As soon as I get off and I get to work, I'm sure somebody will sign. So look for it. But uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Jono, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, hey, buddy, it's been since the playoffs since I've on here. Hope you've been good. I'm worried about Barker, though. Reminds me of DeMarco Murray. He, he's nothing like DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray was playing a system that he didn't fit into at all. And he was limited in what he could do. Barkley is going to a place where he is going to fit perfectly. And Barkley can do it all. So I think we'll be okay, man. But it's good to see you. Appreciate you being here, stopping by. I will be back tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Uh, you definitely don't have to worry about it, though. That's for sure. And uh, I'm out of here, headed back to work, and uh, enjoy the next breaking news that's about to happen five minutes after I leave. With that said, um, you guys have a great day, and I might or might not see you later. Peace. Two minutes to go. You have plenty of time. Come on. Oh, oh shit! Dad! No! Dad! It's over! Oh, it's shit. over! This game is over! Cut it off! It's over! Congratulations, Green Bay. Congratulations, Green Bay. Congratulations, Green Bay. I said run the ball. Congratulations, man. Green Bay. Dak Prescott, you need to be fired today. That was on you, Dak. That was on you, Dak. That was on you, Dak. I said run the ball. That was man. on Dak Prescott. Try to feed the the lamb. You try to feed the sea lamb. You got to give it to see Lamb! God! It's over! It's over, Dad! Put Trey Lance in the game! Trey Lance can't do worse than you! I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I buy into this shit! I buy into this shit! Because here's the thing, I am a grown-ass man. And I talk the talk. <sighs> it is killing me. Yeah, I, I feel it coming. I feel like it's going to take Jerry Jones taking your name.